Ah, ah, hello, chat. Hello, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone in chat. I hope you're having a lovely Monday. Hello, ah. we are here on ah. session 94. 94. How you guys feeling about session 94? Rapidly ah. coming up on 100. We are, we are. There will be something special that happens on episode 100, whether we like it or not. It's going to be great. So could yeah, you imagine, uh, though, if, if Kat to just... Me. Could you it's imagine like, if Kat just cancelled it? Yes. <laughs> like, I'm bored now. You guys are boring. I'm down. I'm done. See ya. Bye. So, and she just leaves the call. Well, what? I'm not boring, so she'd be wrong there, but... What? I would right. never do that. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Starts starts playing some random game. Just leaves her stream running with us in chat. And leaves chat. Yeah. Just... <laughs> I guess you guys are running this game now. now. Goes back and mutes. Goes back and mutes us. Oh God! Somebody pass my dungeon master's hood. I got a plan. Oh no! That'd be, that'd be it's cruel. just red over there with a with a piece of like a robe on. He's just we just have a D and D game inside of a D and D game. Thank goodness. All right, we are we are working on our way to Essa, the city of Essa, which is north of the city that you all just left, which was Coalfield. Uh, and we just left town. That is where we currently are. Um, to your left is a bunch of uh, fields and things like that, which is uh, mostly like overgrown, but it's not like a forest type setting. It's like it's like Kansas. You guys know Kansas minus Mr. Bunny? It's like mostly flat. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. yeah. Sorry for anybody that lives in Kansas. You guys got nothing. Oh. That makes things there. You got plenty of room. So there's, there's like a couple sparse trees from time to time, mostly fields. And then to your right is a dense oh, forest. Oh, yeah, there you go. I turned these off. What that that is where battle? I live, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, there is a river to your right, but across that river is that big forest I was talking about. So you are traveling north at this point there we go. towards the next city. Um, the, you do have a couple days of travel time to, to kind of get up there and everything. Do you have any uh, anything you guys want to do while you're traveling? Anything you guys want to, like, because uh, uh, you just left that big city. Um, Alex, you have ten of those envelopes. I think it was ten. Are we actively moving? We are currently traveling, yes. Okay. Um, mm, let me think. Okay. Um. But you all, you all dispatched the undead that were left in the city from your ex coworker, and uh, we're now traveling. So what's everybody having, What's everybody doing? What was the plan? So I know we're getting really close to giant territory. So I will be keeping an eye out for any of their approach, any signs. Sure. How much do I know about hill giants? Give me a percentile. That's awful. <laughs> I have bad luck with these. See? You uh, don't one. really know much about wow. hill giants. I've never seen a one on a percentile I have, I have before. also never seen a one. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. I have an advantage when it comes against my favorite enemy? Um, yeah. Man um, had a blade fart there for a second. Can I, can I argue that? <laughs> You want to argue if you know anything because they're your favorite enemy. <laughs> I, I have advantage when it comes to information about them. Uh -huh. that, that's like me with dragons. Yeah, but dragons. this wasn't a rule for in intelligence. This was just a, how much this do you know about the hill giants here? Oh, versus... no, I meant, I meant hill giants in general. Hill giants in I'm general. Looking, okay. I'm talking about signs of like they where they could be close i'll give you the medium ones. of both of those so I mean, that's still a really bad score <laughs> <laughs> you know quite a bit about hill giants um you don't know like their mating procedure or anything silly like that I've, right uh that's not what i'd be studying disappointing <laughs> so i mean you know you know a, a fair bit amount about hill giants like you you can probably tell them from a distance uh tracking things and stuff like that is just like any other giant you'll be fine okay um keep going no that's it i'm just keeping my eye for any early warning signs that there are groups of them or some nearby sure now um 
Elise, it, do you talk to Elise about your concerns about the Giants at all? Um, I mean, I'm sure everybody sees me acting more squirrely than normal, so I'll fill them in on what I'm looking for. Sure. Alright, who gave Red coffee? <laughs> I'm not uh, caffeinated, I'm motivated. Man, I could go for some coffee, says Elise. Hey, does your mayo jar make coffee? No. Oh, we gotta get one of those that makes coffee. That sounds really awesome, actually. But anyway, I'm just... Giants, we're gonna be getting close to their territory. Yeah. We we'll probably won't see, or at least getting close to them until we get closer to Ace a Essa. So, you know. Maybe. Maybe. She'll show you the map, and she'll be like, look, look, look. This extremely bland landscape over here to the left, and she'll show you the map, and she'll be like, this it goes for quite a while, up until basically the city itself. So, we don't have to worry about the collapsed hillside until probably right at the city of Essa. So you're right. probably fine here now. I mean, we don't have the best track record with traveling but i'm sure it's fine kath yes i would like to discreetly drop a letter off the back of the wagon while we're traveling okay um seal side up preferably sure and then i will discreetly cast mage hand okay okay and then we're like 25 feet away i'm gonna like poke it real hard with the mage hand okay so, while you guys are, like, in the front of the wagon, and you're chit-chatting and everything, and, and, uh, and Don Graves at the back of the wagon, you guys don't really pay attention to each other very much in the wagon. You've been traveling for a long time. You're all doing your own thing. So, Don Grave, at this point, I, I, yeah, you can probably slip it out the back without too much of an issue. Wait. Instead of Mage Hand, I would like to hit it with Sacred Flame. Okay. <laughs> when I'm 55 feet away. Okay. <laughs> um... So, when you hit it with the, what was it again? Flame strike? Sacred flame. Sacred flame. This is another flame one, okay. Um, that one's not as quiet as, because there's still somatic sub components and everything. Um, so you, you, you cast your spell as quietly as possible. Um, when it hits the envelope, uh, I need everyone to give me a perception check. Oops. It's mine. Does this include me? No. That was almost good. No, you can see I'm it. I'm in my book. Well, <laughs> I, I'm driving a horse cart. We're busy. I feel like since he's driving, he should have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depends. Is it loud? Because does PTSD give me advantage? <laughs> <laughs> all right then i'll take i'll take it normally all right so um as you are traveling abaddon you're not paying any attention you're super engrossed in whatever passage you're currently in in your book it's very interesting yep. uh red yep. you're you're too far ahead you had just left the wagon you're scouting up like you normally do you're farther away from the wagon than normal isaac hi <laughs> Uh, as you're driving, you know, you're keeping a watch out. Your horses start to, like, they're, they're super agitated all of a sudden. And they, like, jump forward a little bit as if something startled them. And then you feel the ground shake under you. And, Dawngrave, what you see behind you is that there is, there, where the envelope was, was a ball of fire for a second. And then it went out. And it kind of, like, cracked the ground underneath it. Neat. Full, full panic mode. Isaac thinks they're under attack. Just run under attack and slaps the reins just to bolt off with the whole carriage down the path. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Abaddon, uh, give me a dex check. Oh, good. I'm uh, good at these. Definitely. All right, you you uh, have enough time to hold the book up as you like start sliding backwards off of the like the the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off the bench that you were kind of holding on as Isaac just instantly speeds up the cart. Um, yeah. 
So yeah. Red, you're gonna hear Isaac just throw an attack. And just like collateral hit Elise on my way out and grab the bench. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, Red, you see your party members rushing towards you in a very fast state with Isaac yelling at you that they're under attack. Uh, both my boomerangs, and I'm looking for what we're under attack by. I just got them both ready to start winging them. Um, I cast Thaumaturgy, <clears throat> and with my voice three times loud as normal, I was like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I was just yeah. testing something, we're good. Does that, that way, startle the horses, me. too? Yeah, Probably. a little bit. Your horses are very stressed. <laughs> <laughs> were you about to run Red over? Uh, no, Red's smart enough not to stand in your way. <laughs> Red, get out the way. <laughs> I'm behind this tree. Uh, I recognize this Donnie's voice when it's loud and everything else. So now I go from, like, we're under attack to now I'm trying to wrangle the horses back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You are, you are able to wrangle the horses back after, like, a minute or so. And uh, uh, they're still agitated, but they're, they're no longer sprinting away in fear. Damn it, Dottie! Yeah, what the but hell was the, that? It was one of those letters. You couldn't was, tell us that. Tell us what? What? You were busy driving. And so you just go on ahead and, you know, make a big loud bang and startle my horses. <laughs> yeah, nobody got hurt. It's fine. I'll boot you off the wagon next time. I won't be able to keep up. <laughs> he won't. <laughs> All right, so you you had your little bit of fun uh, with the with the letter. So now you know what they are. You have nine left. It was science. It's science. Is there a specific spell that casts when it was broken, or do you mean to say exploding? Uh, it does two d six fire damage as an explosion. Nice. Uh, obviously, it that won't kill you if you open it. It was probably meant to just be an annoyance when you guys found the letters initially. I forgot about that. But since you didn't break the seal when you first found them and you opened it like letter style with like a letter opener, you were able to save them all. So, uh, you guys are traveling. Your day is kind of like going without too much of an issue. The weather's really nice today. Um, you don't have a lot of people on the road with you. Um, most of those other people were traveling south out of the kingdom from all of the undead nonsense that's currently going on. So they're kind of like exiting to the south. So you heading north towards the capital, eh, you don't meet a lot of people on the roads. Um, so this day, uh, travel without too much of an issue. Uh, Isaac and Red, go ahead and give me perception rolls for the day. What was that, Kath? Perception roll, please, Isaac. Oh, sorry. My wife had my attention at the moment. Was, was it Food Incorporated? No, it was, I want attention, give me cuddles. Ah. That was also acceptable. Incorporated. Which is why your perception was low. Got it. Yes, I was, I was, <laughs> thinking, of my I was thinking of my lovely melody. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so, Red, as you're kind of traveling throughout the day, um... One thing that you did notice on, on the side of the road there was, because you, you were looking for tracks and everything, you did notice there was a, a funny, interesting little track uh, in, like, a shallow pool of water off to the side in one area there, uh, which was just, like, a, a footprint, which is strange because most people use shoes, so there's this very fine, perfect footprint off to the side of the road heading in the direction that you guys are going in, but uh, you didn't really find any other ones. It was just in that one spot. It was kind of strange. Like, not a pair of feet of feet print, just one? Just one single footprint. I'll, I'm going to go a little further ahead and see if there's another one. Sure! Now you search the rest of the day and you don't find any more. You just found the one. That's weird. It's in a puddle? It was, yeah. Was there anything in the puddle besides that? Like, No, just some water. But it was quickly drying with the, the warmth of the sun. But that was further back down the way, so. That's weird. All right, so your guys' day is coming to a close. 
Uh, and I'm assuming you want to set up for the evening. Yes. There you are. I will move you over to the uh, sleepy zone. You guys go. You guys did get another tent so that you don't have to continually switch in and out of the tents and everything. You got your horses over here that are pulling your wagon. Uh, yeah. So, you guys are setting up camp for the night. You still have three more days before you get to the city of Essa. What would you guys like to do tonight? I would like to ask Abaddon if he still... Oh, man. Would I know if Abaddon knew at one point minting? Abaddon? Uh, yeah, I do. Do you, you currently know it? I've, I've used it before, so yes. Okay. Well, I didn't know if you had switched out or something. No. I, okay. I, I have not changed any of my cantrips except for one. Um, I would like to request that you carefully seal these nine letters up with mending. I can do that. Hell yeah. Cast mending on all the... All the Make uh, sure you do it carefully. Please say that you do it carefully. <laughs> I will not touch anywhere near the seal and mend it. All right. That's good do, you, do you leave the letters in the letters? Or like do you just seal it up for it's just the envelope? Oh, I thought I had like a trifold letter thing and it was sealed that way. It's a, so I have an envelope and there's a letter inside of it? Yes. Oh. Um. Well, gosh. That changes everything. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. It does. What kind of paper is it? Oh, it's just basic parchment paper. Can you see through basic parchment paper at all? Like if you hold it up to the sun or anything? Not this parchment paper. It's too thick. Okay. All right. Now I leave the letters in there then. Okay. You just have like nine letters of taunting with a seal of explosion on each of them ready to go. Yep. Yep. All right. Please put that in your inventory somewhere. <laughs> they don't weigh anything, so you know. Oh, I already did. Don't worry. Okay. That's a tool we'll use for later. It's only 2d6 fire damage. You'll be fine. Yeah, that's enough to kill a peasant. Yes. None of us are peasants, so... <laughs> Donnie's over here planning weapons of mass destruction. Bro, it's only 2d6 fire damage! But that's you have nine of that's them. That's a lot of damage for I a peasant. I nine, so if they all went off at the same time, that's 18d6 of fire damage. Jeez. <laughs> it's only a lot. Interesting. Now, if you put that in a barrel full of gunpowder... Oh, I, got, I don't I, hit you by accident. <laughs> Anyways, did you guys ever do that with like on the on like the days where you could shoot off fireworks? I I accidentally knocked over one of those those cannon type ones. Oh yeah, in the yeah. in the park one time, and it went up under somebody's truck, and then uh, my father got very upset with me. Anyway, sorry tangent. Uh, uh, I got one. I'll I got one. I'll tell you later after the. Yeah yeah yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to tangent us. All right, so. You guys are setting up for the camp for the night. Um, you didn't really eat too much during the day, uh, so tell me what you're doing tonight. Um, before we get too late, I guess I'll go hunting, see if I can get us something good. I'll put on a pot with water. Okay. Red, you will be hunting at a disadvantage because, you know, it's Kansas. So go ahead. So one straight roll? Yeah. Hey, planes still have buffaloes and stuff. These don't. Yeah, but they can see you. <laughs> the problem is you have nowhere to hide. All right, Red. Uh, yeah, you're probably able to find enough food tonight with, like, vegetables and stuff. Maybe not so much game. But you're able to find some tubers and uh, lots of herbs and stuff to, to flavor everything. So Good, because you know. I don't have great food and water anymore, apparently. What? Okay. Huh? I apparently switched it out at some point for something. Whoops. I need like a history of changes that make to my character, please. <laughs> what did you say? You pulled away from the mic? Me? Yes. I said I understand we'll have a nice day. Ah, fair, 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 fair. Okay. I was looking for my necklace and my cat. So Abaddon gets a bucket of water, puts it the, in the mm -hmm. pot and everything. He's got some water boiling. Uh, Red comes back with a bunch of vegetables and like a couple, couple small game. That's what you got for dinner. I will add some of my stuff too to it. 
How much of your stuff do you have left? A lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I still have uh, a lot of salted meats. Still two weeks worth of spices. Uh, the funky mushroom. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I still have that. I forgot about that. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So you mm -hmm. take the time. Uh, Abaddon is cooking. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing while they're making dinner? Uh, I am contemplating the word of Anubis. Excellent. I'm also still engrossed in my book while I'm cooking, by the way. Abaddon is not paying attention to the food. Got it. What's everyone not else doing? Not as do? much. <laughs> as normal. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. Be, I'll be watching Abaddon pay, not paying attention to the food. I'm going to see if he burns it. I mean, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to stop him. I just want to see if he burns it. I want to be the first one to... I would be the first one to make fun of him for it. Does it still... Do we still get fed even if it's burnt? Yeah. It just will it taste burnt. <laughs> it is, yeah. Unless he, like, charcoals it, right? That's a little it's, different. Yeah, but it's like a stew. Well, yeah, as long as it's still in the edible point. In an edible state. Right. Roll for this cat or what? Yeah, go ahead and give me a... Uh, what would that even be? <laughs> what Maybe is... like a performance? Um, yeah. Make him roll wisdom. Make him roll <laughs> wisdom. How does wisdom... <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Uh, sure, go ahead and give me a performance check just to see if you can keep up with yourself. I thought dancing that was scary. on that one. <laughs> it danced on a 10 for me. All right, yeah, no, you're you're pretty good. He's he's able to like read the couple lines and stir the pot, then read a couple lines and stir it. So he's like absentmindedly stirring it so it doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. He's good. What's the book that Zavala gave me and suggested? So I'm very engrossed in it. Yeah, what's it about, Abaddon? Somebody asking that. Uh, Elise's. Oh, um, it's. It's kind of like, you know, multiple stories put into one. Uh-huh. Of sorts. So there's different, uh, you know, sections. I've gone through a couple already. This one is um, about a couple, of course. And this one, is, it's a good story. Uh, she loves, well, Luala loves, um, you know, kind of the lovey-dovey stuff, as I find a lot of women do. But this one's, you know, about a couple and the kind of, you know, time together and stuff that they do. Um, I'm getting to some spicy parts. I'm not going to say the rest, but didn't know it was in there. Um, but it's a good book. I like it. Um, it's, it's called, um, I actually don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm too engrossed in this part. I'm going to look in a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just too engrossed in the spicy section no. of this book. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Lusty Argonian Maid. <laughs> <laughs> nice reference. Uh, yeah, all right. She's like, cool, that sounds really interesting. Uh, maybe I'll pick up a copy in the next town. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it'll be anywhere else, but if you do want to read it after I'm done, I'll gladly lend you the book. Sure, why not? That sounds fun. I'll read it to Red, right? Is it an out loud kind of book? I mean, you, if you would like to, yes. Some parts may be a bit... Depending on how you feel internally, embarrassing to read out loud. That's fair. That's fair. But it is up to your discretion. Fair enough. Still Fred, do you want to read a book? Uh, sure. I yeah. like book. I like reading. Yeah. The first two aren't bad. The third one, deep. It's a, a little, whole series. You know, it, 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 it's multiple stories. Um, it's uh, it's called Tales of um. I don't know exactly how to say this word. It's in a different. I, anyways. Oh, my, 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 my Hugo it just opens it up. What's it in? What's, what's how do you say in? that word? It says what language? Oh, yeah, what language? Uh, it, it, it's in probably Elven. Uh, the I, I can't read the Elven. Front, Tales but, of the Scandalized. That would make sense. Uh, unfortunately, I don't read. Elven. Mm -hmm. Whoever wrote the book wanted to make it a bit more fun for the cover, but the inside is in common. 
Oh. So it's easy to read that. I what? caught one of my teachers what? reading that book. There you go. Oh. With my 19 intelligence, do I know the word? Yeah. 19? Yep. There you go. There Dang, you go. You, you say it like this. Wait a minute. <laughs> my God. Oh, 11 intelligence. <laughs> you should read more books. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Uh, Don Grave, you're you're doing fine. <laughs> At least I'm wise beyond my years. DM comes over. You're okay, buddy. It's fine. Look, I'm at average, and it's good enough. I just wasn't expecting Isaac to have 19. <laughs> I will react this way every single time it comes up. By the way, I'm sure we've already talked about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get a Gotta love it. I, I think in if I'm not mistaken, the um, the name in um, oh, what what language does that translate from? Like, I I think the name in Draconic would be um, butchers and swindlers. I think is what it's called. It's it, it's an old name. But that's the rough translation from Draconic. Inside inside you know the front page is you know list of different you know languages of the name of the book you can find it in different areas uh, it looks looks through it and everything else do i find dwarvish in there does he eh, mr bunny uh in i, I would say probably on the, the 11th tale there would be some dwarvish in there yes yeah he'll, he'll he'll go to it and he starts reading out the dwarvish part a little bit in dwarvish Okay, who speaks Dwarvish? Not me. Red and me, and Isaac. Yeah, he just out loud starts reading a parable from it. Let's hear it. All right. I, I, I don't, I don't know actual black Dwarvish. black on whatever you're reading. Uh... <laughs> I, I want to learn Dwarvish. It's an actual, they actually put a language together for it. I would like to learn it one day. But yeah. unfortunately, I do not know right now. So, uh, red, your face is a little red, uh, as Isaac is reading this particular story, it's a little spicy. Um, Don Grave is unbothered. Are you sure you want to read this to me? What's he saying? I can't, I don't understand Dwarvish. Ah, um. (laughs) Yeah, Red, why don't you tell her about it? There you go, Abaddon, I think your book is lovely. Thank you. Take it back. <laughs> we can talk about it later. It's not a big deal. I tell at least what Isaac was talking gonna, about. I was going to say, it's, uh, I don't think they were married when they were doing those things. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. To be honest, the parts I can't read, I normally skip over, which makes sense why I don't get half the stories, but it's still interesting for the parts I know. Wait, did they just write all the spicy stuff in Dwarvish? No. Um, just, the, just that part. There's, there's uh, again, there's multiple stories in, in one book. Um, I think there's uh, 12 in total. Uh, so far, I've been able to read all of them, um, but I think for some of the next ones, I might not be able to read some passages, seeing as, you know, they have dialect and the language that it's been, you know, uh, of that race. So well, I'm fluent in Goblin and Giant, too. I believe number eight is Giant. Oh, it's probably a shit story. The moment, I, I, Let me you know, say I'm it. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. No, don't spoil it. I want to I'll, read it. Can you, re, can you read Giant? No, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Can Luwala read all this? Ooh. Hell yeah. I believe she she translates some of it from time to time, but, you know, she just enjoys, I believe, the stories that she can read. She She's pretty knowledgeable on most languages, yes. Mm-hmm. She's a librarian, so she doesn't know what she's selling. Yeah, she has, yeah. you know, been able to, you know, translate most of this. She has a, uh, you know, a giant book of, you know, translations. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so Mr. Bunny has given us a uh, book of smut called Butchers and Swindlers. Shit. That we now part, have. Part of it is smut. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds like at least the two rest stories is actually are. really nice. It's like you know them building a life together and stuff, like each, each people and like how they met and blah blah blah. You know, it's named Butchers and Swindlers. Yes, it's an old name. Again, that is the draconic translation, but you know, it's it's tales of love. It's essentially, is what the name would be in common. Because it's an odd name for a book of schmutt. To be fair, draconic is an odd language, so yeah, but in Dwarven, translations just, are rough. Yeah, but in Dwarven, that just translates to my stolen heart. Yeah, exactly. Translations are a little odd. Sometimes, right? And Draconic is a weird one. To be fair, dragons are odd, so... And they are. But I enjoy it, so... Wait, have you, have you met a dragon? No, I've yet to. Um, but it would be fun. I can also, the it. soup is ready. Soup's ready! Everybody digs nice, into soup. Nice segue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, Abaddon did really well with the soup tonight. It was pretty tasty. There's not a lot of meat than normal, but you know, the rest of the vegetables and stuff kind of I added in. some of my meat to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the meat's a little salty. <laughs> just a little, just a little bit. But it helps enhance the flavor because I didn't yeah. add any other salt. So it kind of balanced out a little bit, but it's still a bit salty. The flavor. It's like when you go to your grandma's house and she can't taste the amount of salt she put in the soup. Yeah. yeah. Dumps a oh. bunch more. Grandma's got the shakes, and she's mm. holding the salt shaker. Yep. Oops, I dropped too much. I hope the cap fell off. Let me dig it out. Ugh. Okay, all right. So <laughs> it's it's getting to be nighttime. Uh, who's taking first, second, and third watch? I'll take first. I'll take first, too. I haven't set one with Donnie in a while. Okay. I'll take last. I'll take last. All right, so Elise and Marco are in the middle. Oops, oops, oops. Does, does Elise look upset that she got punted the second? No, maybe a sm she's fine. She's going to go to bed. <laughs> I specifically picked last one because she said she didn't like middle watch anymore. Yeah, but Isaac took that one with you before she could say anything, so it's fine. It's fine. No, I took the first watch. Oh, Donnie took the last Abaddon one. Abaddon is last Abaddon. with red. Right. Isaac, mm -hmm. Dongrave, and then Abaddon and red. Cool. I mean, I, I, Abaddon nope. went, y'all don't need cuddle I can time. with somebody. Nope. It's too late. Elise is already in bed because she's like, I'm going to get as much sleep as I can for friggin' shit. I didn't notice. <laughs> she goes to bed and lays down immediately and tries to sleep. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's going to end up great tomorrow. Before right? bed, just for like five minutes can i try to play some of my ocarina try to play this soothing tune are you fucking kidding me sure oh, give me a performance I, check i saw a pine cone at him you can play i'm in my tent you, you can play very soothing tunes in, on, on an ocarina to be I throw multiple pine pine cones. Cones. right fuck you do I throw not multiple pine cones <laughs> at his tent. All right, all right. So it's, it's, it's the first time you've ever attempted to play quietly and it's not coming out very well. Uh, I'm just going to rap on Abaddon's tent. Hey, Abaddon. Mm. Hey, you work for Spark. You're not in a band. Don't quit that job. <laughs> Immediate pine cone bounces off his tent. All right, I'll, I'll try tomorrow. I'm sorry. Uh, Put away after like a minute of trying. <laughs> all right, while he's... Waking me up from my my nap. Actually, no. Uh, I'm going to stick these in the trees. You're sticking what the in the trees? Are in the trees. Arrow. My my oh. arrow trap. Oh, oh oh! I thought you said treats. I was like, you have treats. Okay. Trinkets box for my trinkets. Like my trinkets. Yep. Yeah yeah. That, that way they're not gonna go through a tent and you know <laughs> show Mark a release. You hope. I hope. Uh. That uh, would be bad if that happened. That's crazy. All right. So you all hunker down for the evening. Isaac Don Grave. First watch. Go ahead and give me some perception rolls for your watch. Who are we? Today ain't our day, boys. We ain't <laughs> seeing shit today. Oh, man. It's uh, 
during your shift it starts to rain really hard so you're up under the like the the, the makeshift lean to tent thing that you kind of got it's, so you're gonna... it's really going at it and i wish reddit said something about the rain coming in i know he's usually on top of that yeah. oh lisa's gonna be pissed when she wakes up well you know second watch it's the best watch i guess oh yeah Okay, so do we have a secret fifth tent that's not visible? Is that what we were saying? No. If well, there's Isaac a lean usually there, sleeps the... in the wagon. Right, but you said we had another tent. I thought you. This was the fourth tent. This is a lean-to. Well, that's it's where to the from rain. That's where the tent usually goes. It's fine. It's a lean-to. Okay, I just need to know if I was taking over someone's tent or not because you said we weren't doing the switchy switch, but. I will get another tent set up. No, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just making sure. I'm just it's fine. It's <laughs> Can I have a Casula's tent? No. All the way over there. <laughs> There's the oops. Sorry, Marco. There's Same another bro. one. Oops. Sorry, I moved that one too. Gosh darn it. There we go. I mean, where else am I supposed to put the tent? No. It's fine. Okay, so Isaac Dongrave, uh, it's raining super hard. You guys are under your little lean-to thing to keep out of the wet rain as much as possible. Um, you don't see much. It's like heavily concealing the area around you. Isaac, you basically can't see anything. Dongrave, you can see, I mean, you can see everybody's tents and stuff. Nobody's like coming out. It's very quiet. Um, nothing really much is going on. You guys want to do anything before your shift ends? Um, do I have any sort of sense as to how long it's going to rain? It'll probably be about four hours. Okay. Isaac's uh, just sitting there. He's whittling on a piece of wood. And he's just kind of, you kind of like lowly kind of singing a, a little dwarven song. Something back from when he was a kid. Just kind of biding the time. Is this a song written by Isaac or one from Dwarf History, and do I know it? Uh, it would be a song. It would be a song from Avangrove. So unless you've okay. been to Avangrove, no, I just didn't know if it was like if it was like, oh yes, it's been around since I was a wee lad in the billions of years ago. Okay. Nice tune. What you whittling? Ah, uh, just whittling a little owl. Why an owl? Well, Lisa likes owls, and honestly, as much as I've traveled with the rest of you, most of us are just business. Most of us are just business. Yeah, I mean, I craft things, but I can't really craft anything for you guys, because, you know, we get a decent pay, and you guys usually just run off and get armor and stuff, and... Oh, you're trying to make some are you trying to make some some coin? No, I'm I honestly I'm just trying to keep my skills up. Ah, gotcha. You know what they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. That is the thing people have said before, yes. Oh. I wouldn't give though to be back in the be back in the forges. We got jobs to do. You can't go back to the forges yet. I know. That's one day though. We have to save the world. We don't have to save the world. I mean, you're right. We don't have to. But it'd be cool if we did, right? I mean, if something came along that we had to save the world. I mean, like, if this whole undead thing really got out of hand, I'm sure there are people way more skilled to us that would save the world. I mean, we're just a ragtag group of people. I mean... Look at us. We're not heroes. We're kind of heroes. I mean, we we do nice things. We we have done a few heroic things, but you know, heroes heroes do things like fight dragons and stuff. You hear about those fairy tales? Yeah, we uh we 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 did some of that. We're trying to stop this bad guy. He's doing bad stuff. That feels like a heroic thing. We bullied some bandits. 
what about my coworker? We're I mean, actively I, trying to stop him. Doesn't that make us heroes? I mean, honestly, that just kind of sounds like you had a shitty place to work. Yeah, but he's trying to take over at least the tri-state area. Is he? I don't know. It seems like he is. <laughs> he's definitely getting us. <laughs> I saw that, Kath. He's definitely giving us. Uh, I'm sorry, Red. I'm annoyance. sorry, Marco. <laughs> hey, I'm having bad dreams right now. No matter. It's boring. It's it's bad out there with that rain. I could have swore I saw a dragon over Marco and Red's tent for a second. Oh, I can barely see their tents. I don't know how you've seen it. I looked away for like half a second. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. It was the rain playing tricks on your eyes. Ah, must have just been the wind. <laughs> uh, no, is it? Like one day I plan to sit down and open up my own, my own crafting shop. Nice. Are you gonna sell your Whitlands? Oh no, I'll sell a little bit of everything. See. Nice. I like to get my hands into everything from glass blowing to. Armor, leather work. I would not recommend putting your hands in the glass. Oh no! Well, I think you, it's you see, hot. you see him look at his hands. You can tell he's, you can tell he's like wiggling his fingers. You look at his gauntlets, and you can tell he's actually thinking of something about being able to put his hands in the glass and it not hurt. You just hear him mumbling, and you know, it's a little, maybe some heat resistant scales. Yeah, ah. yeah, that's probably a good idea. No, just yeah, just honestly, just trying to keep my skills up. I didn't get a, I haven't got a chance to work down in the, the armory for a while. Fair enough. We've been we've been out saving the world and stuff, you know. There, there you go with the whole saving the world thing again. We're, we're just they're we, writing stories about us already. Remember that bard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to write very bad stories about us. I mean, Red bullied him with an owl. Granted, he was harassing Elise and we were going to beat him up, but... I feel like he's probably... Used we, to it. You, you basically bullied the news. No, no I didn't. I gave, him, I gave him the scoop, remember? Red basically bullied the news. Well, he might write bad things about Red, but that's okay. Yeah, he's gonna write bad things about Red. Well, sounds like looks looks like uh, Kath, did the rain start right when our watch started? Yep. So it's, is it is it starting to let up it, if watch is coming to an end? It is, yeah. Looks like the rain's starting to let up. Oh, well, that's good. Maybe it'll stop before we have to get into our tents. I'm gonna go sleep at the wagon, man. I know it's dry. Oh, that's there. right. You're the wagon eater. <laughs> You wanna you wanna get Marco and I'll get Elise. Oh yeah, sure. All right, all right. So your guys' shift comes to an end without any troubles at all. The rain has let up, but everything's nice and like completely soaked. So it's kind of gross. But uh, you get up there, you wake up Elise, you wake up Marco, and they go. It's middle shift already. Yep, been four hours. Can you believe it? <sighs> Night. All right, and Elise gets up, and Marco gets up. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Anything you uh, need to know? No, nah, it rained like hell. I swear the rain was, like, going so bad, I thought I saw a dragon over you and uh, Red's tents. It was wild. Uh, it's crazy. Don't speak that into existence, says Marco. Uh, All right. Pla Did you hear the wagon squeaking a little bit as I see cr crawls in? <laughs> So, Don, Grave, Isaac, you guys pass out. Um, Elise and Marco's shift happens. Uh, you don't know if they've talked about anything specifically. They do kind of chit-chat a little bit quietly. And then it is time to wake up Red and Abaddon. Um, <clears throat> Marco is going to wake up Red. And Elise is going to wake up Abaddon. Hey, Abaddon. Abaddon, yes. mm. it's time to wake up. For your shift. Oh, all right. There's nothing happened. It rained earlier. It stopped oh. now. Sounds good. Goodbye. 
Too much sleep. Red. Oh. Red. Yeah. Red. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's yeah. time, man. I'm gonna no, go lay yeah. down. It's time, man. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's not raining right now. It's oh, morning. Red. <clears throat> morning. I check my arrows. Any of them fly off in the night? Nope. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead and give me perception checks, you both. Okay. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> nice, dude. What is this? Oh man, two in a row. Good. Okay, good. Uh, okay, well, it starts raining, but only over Abaddon again. This is great. That's weird. <laughs> Does that normally happen? No, I think it's the world hating me today. It could just do that? Apparently. It doesn't oh, last awful. very long, maybe like 10 seconds, and then it stops. That was old. I never. I can honestly say I've never seen that happen before. It's like it was following you. Yes, that was different. Must have been a god or something hating me for a moment. <clears throat> it happens, I suppose. <clears throat> oh. Uh, I'm uh, excited to see the capital. I. I. Never been to a capital city. Neither have I. Think Wolverfly is about as big as I've ever seen. So seen this will be one something. bigger city on my way up here, but that's about it. So I'm guessing this city is quite a lot bigger than most. Yeah, I don't even know the capital of where I came from. I am not familiarized with mine either. I wonder. <laughs> Wow, the people are there. Hopefully they're all right. We just have to see exactly when we get up there. Uh, I'll cast them um, uh, just like um, fire both into the fire to start it, Kath. Sure. Uh, it takes you a couple tries because the wood's wet, but you do eventually mm -hmm. get it going. Perfect. Also, the cleansing stone so he can dry his clothes off and be clean. There you go. I, no, I, I, I just, I, I, I have a spell for that too, Red, but thank you. No. Well, then I'll do it. I'll press the meditation myself. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go check on the horses, see if they need anything. All right. I'll pull up my book and I will start reading. In... Okay. We're gone, Chestnut. You guys doing all right? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. It rained a lot last night. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna talk with Isaac. He should have covered you all up. That would have been nice, yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll give him a talk or two for you guys. Thanks. We have some oats yeah. today. I'll see what I can get you. Cool. I know after this long travel I'm gonna talk him into getting you guys something really nice. That's why you're our favorite. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'll give them some pets ahead back. Like, and Abaddon, Isaac really pissed off the horses. I have no idea what they said, by the way. No. <laughs> like you, but you sound a little crazy when you do that. You understand this, right? How? That's how I sound when I talk to myself. Never mind. <clears throat> Ignore what I said. Well, fair Abaddon. enough. We pulled a demon out of you. That should be the tamest thing you've seen in a long time. I mean, we got fair, attacked yeah. by a magical mirror that made a ghost troll. I mean, that was wild. I mean, fair, yes. Again, that's why I kind of took back what I said, because again, I've <laughs> done exactly what you've done. But to myself a lot. Which also makes me sound crazy, but I have responses in my head is where you have verbal responses <clears throat> from an animal, so... Well, I get the animal noises in my head, too. Mm. 
They've been happening more so recently. Oh. Yeah. More aggressive. Is it due to something or just? I don't know. Oh, I'm, I think I'm nervous about the capital city. How so? I just... Like anxiety, generally? Mm, confusion, I guess, is closer. I don't know why they need Spark. Maybe they don't have an expert in getting rid of whatever it is that needs to be get rid of. I mean, we do all right, but I wouldn't call us experts on on very much. Fair. Maybe they just don't want to deal with it themselves, so they hire outside help. I guess. So, we got Donnie's past moving on to the next town, and he got a mm -hmm. day ahead of us. Could be far, though. We have no idea. Oh, well, yeah, but we know he's got at least one day on us. Who's that? I don't... What's his play? I have no idea, honestly. Because, honestly, if... You know, him and Dongrave came from the same place... I'd imagine the guy that just woke up and the world was already changed around him would be more likely to snap than somebody that got it the slow way. Other guy had time to adjust. Dongrave kind of got just thrown out here into it. Not wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure. This place do seem kind of sporadic. They Honestly, way, they kind of seem like just like mayhem for the sake of mayhem. Like, he just... Fucking around. Yeah, I the mean, one you, big if, thing that we've seen him do is trying to remove that seal. Well, if you woke up and you had plans prior in the past, and all of a sudden the world around you changed, would you want to stick with what you know or try to change to the world? It seems like he didn't want to change, and he's still going on with whatever he had planned. I don't know. I think if I woke up after being asleep that long, I think the first thing I'd do is like go pee. I feel like that's generally some people's responses, yes, but after that, there's still a lot you have to think about, you know? Yeah, but hear me out, though. Can you imagine, like, a hundred years, that amount of relief? Uh, you couldn't be mad at the world after that. Some people stay the same. You know, things happen, but sometimes it's... People have a hard time forgetting the past. I guess. I myself am one of those. Mm. You shouldn't focus on forgetting your past. I don't think that's the answer. That's what I thought the answer was for the longest time until the, my past caught up to me and I was left with what it was. First time yeah, yeah. with a mirror. Yeah, the, the opportunity, incident. though. Yes, but to be fair, with the mirror incident, I had what I wanted. That was my goal the whole time. But once it happened, I generally didn't know what to do. And so I went back to what was comfortable with what I knew, which is getting back the thing that I wanted to get rid of. So now you I'm think at a crossroads. If, you think if you had the opportunity to do it again? Would you do it differently, or would you reclaim it again? Honestly, I have no idea. It's something I've I've continued to think on for a while. It's, you know, I'm not sure exactly what I would do. I mean, to be fair, I might just live a normal life, whatever that would look like. But past that, I don't know. What do you think is a normal life? That's a fair question. 
what does retirement normal life look like for Abaddon? That I can't say. You should think about that. What? That's what kind of got me through some of my past coming back. I try hard not to dwell on it. It's hard not to think about it when your failures are thrown in your face like that. But there's got to be an after. So find what that after is going to look like for you. That's fair. It is kind of hard to think about something without the other thing when the other thing is constantly chattering in my head. Oh, to fuck off. Oh, I've done that many times. It does not work. Trust me. Well, put some bass in your voice. Like, swell your chest. Like, you're in control, Abaddon. Well, I know that. I know we give you shit for hitting us when we fight, and I know magic's weird. Especially for me. Yeah, well. But you're in control. 90% of the time, yes. Well, I think that you're going to be in control 100% of the time. And whatever voice is rattling around in your head, it's going to be your bitch. You got this. Because you got to get to that after whatever it is for you. Maybe it's a nice bakery attached to a library. If everything works out with the Waller and we go on in life together, that would be a nice ending, yes. Then work towards it. And if something gets in your way, move it. Very true. Should we start cooking something now? I feel like it's probably that time. Yeah, I guess I could try and find something. The place doesn't have a lot going for it here. Do you want me to look? You know, I can turn into a giant eagle and fly around. I'm into surprise from above. Best of luck to you. I didn't see hardly any wildlife. I can certainly try. Uh, All right. I'll stand up. Oh, and keep here's my your eye out for pans. a fruit tree. I will try my best. I'll give my, I put my pot and pan down. Um, I could cook too. I'll start getting stuff ready. <laughs> and I will turn into a giant eagle cat. Excellent. And then Perfect. try to find uh, something. Hold on. Gotta pull up the stats. Okay, I'm gonna need you to roll me a survival check. Okay. Let's see how much food you find to bring back to the party. Mm -hmm. The survival is based upon what again? Wisdom. The wisdom. So the giant eagle gets a plus two for that. Do it. Uh, do it. No, do it. Let's do it. Aww. Aww. It was almost a 20, man. <laughs> you, you don't find anything, which is really weird how there's like nothing around. Um. Like you, you travel pretty far away, and there is just nothing around. You see, like some some mm. mice, some like field mice. That's about it. I will just leave him be. Okay. You head back to camp defeated. Red has a nice big hot pot of water ready to go. I just landed on polymorph. Well, I couldn't refine anything, but I still have my, you know, spare meat, so we can use that. All right. Unless you want me to go take off, see if I, I can find anything. If you want to try, sure. All right. Spend I'd like to go looking. a different direction. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ah, uh, okay. So, in the direction that Abaddon didn't go, um, you traveled... Uh, to the, the right instead of the left, essentially. Um, you were able to probably find a, a nice, a nice like, river area. 
that had a bunch of fish in it, so you were able to, like, net those they fish really quick. My net! And Abaddon's so far away from me! I can use my net without fear of Abaddon breaking it! <laughs> so you're able to use your net to gather up a bunch of fish for breakfast. And you bring it back. You have a net full of fish. There we go. Let's get a nice hearty breakfast going. Sounds good. I will start putting fish together. Fish you don't take, taste the best, but it's very good for you. Fish? Yeah. If you prepare them correctly. Yeah, but, but you know, we've got water and spices. Fish stew is always... Doesn't matter what you do to it, it's still fish stew. Well, we could just fillet the fish instead and cook them on the pan. Do you have pans? So, yes. Oh. He does. I normally just use the pot because it's easier for making a lot, you know, larger meals for people. Oh, well, let's do that then. That's a lot better. I will move the pot to the side of water. Okay. Uh, sorry, what did he bring back? Fish. Just Lots a of bunch fish. of fish. Just fish? Okay. Trout. So I, will, I, will, I will boil water for maybe some tea. Okay. I mean, if that water's boiled pizza. already. He started that a while ago. <laughs> oh, then I will just take it off completely. Yep. I'll pull the pan and put on, you know, make like a little spot. Yeah. With some hot coals on the side. You got, you got, you got, a, you got a shindig for that. You got, you got mm. campfire cooking experience. You're good. Oh, yeah. Lots. Um, so everyone else in the camp, you start to wake up to the smell of a nice, you know, the fried fish just way wafting through the camp, everybody. Which, quick tangent, if anybody has never had, like, fish straight off a campfire, it's amazing. That's super good. I don't even like fish, and that's the way to eat it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's super nice. Oh, yeah. So, Isaac, Dawngrave, you wake up to the smell of fish cooking. Oh, man. Morning, Elise. Breakfast is cooking. How do we end next to the ocean? Well, there's actually a body of water um, a little bit to the northeast of here. Oh. Neat. Oh, hey, Isaac. All right. Hey, you fucked up last night. What? About what? You didn't cover the horses. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, he, he's like all squinty eye looking at the you can talk to them can't you yeah they're a little upset with you oh well, tell them I'm sorry I'll get them something nice oh I already told them you're going to get them some nice food ah they know I take care of them <laughs> just take it on take it easy on them today they had a they had a long night oh sh you should have woke me up I would have come and got them yeah I mean they are, by the time I found out they had already had that long night waking you up wouldn't have done anything I mean, they could have at least rested a little bit. No, they're rested. They just got rained on a lot. Yeah. Just, All right. Yeah. They they are wanting oats. Oats. Yeah. Uh, Isaac pulls out a pen of paper, and, like writes down. Oats. <laughs> yeah. And apples. A and apples. Do they have like a special kind of apple they want? I think they just want apples. I just give a little nod to the horses, like, I got you. They nod back. They. Yeah. <laughs> apples. All right. Apples and oats, guys. Is that it? Yeah. I mean, I'll get them something nice if they want something else. And that's what they requested. All right. I'll make sure. Apples and oats. Got it. All right. We're good. All right. So he you... gets out. He, he pats him. He's like, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> They, like, twitch their tail. Not that they can understand you. So you guys have your breakfast. Uh, you, you pull up your tents for the day, and uh, you start to head out. Let us go ahead and re-hit the travel road. All right, you guys get back on the road. Uh, today, it's a little cloudy since there was that weird rain spell last night a couple times. Uh, but it doesn't rain on you as you are traveling. Uh, Red and Isaac, go ahead and give me perception rolls. Let's do it. Cool. 
Uh, you guys are traveling for most of the day. You you stopped for lunch at some point. Uh, you guys had a nice quick little lunch where the horses were able to rest and get some nice fresh water and stuff. Uh, and you hit back on the road again. Um, today was pretty much uneventful, and uh, and you're getting close to the the end of your travel day when Red, <coughs> Red, mm. buddy, buddy. Listen, I'm, uh, you are traveling ahead of everybody, and, you know, you're scouting, making sure there's nothing weird going on. Uh, and, uh, and over here, whoops, that's, I, I didn't mean to move everybody. Oh. Sorry, hang on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Shut up out of the wagon. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you're, uh, you're over here, and you're, you're kind of like, you're off the, the trail and stuff. You, you're still looking for tracks and everything, right? Just kind of like uh, trying to trying to pay attention to the stuff uh, around yeah, you I'm and everything. Yeah, I'm also keeping an eye, eye if I see another one of those singular footprints. Yeah. So about this time, you're you're kind of traveling around and uh, you're you're going through the underbrush. And if you hadn't been like scouting around, you would not have seen it. But there is a dead body hidden over here under these bushes. Um, they look freshly dead. Uh, upon closer inspection of the body, go ahead and give me a medical check. Okay. How do I have a plus five in medicine? Let's go. Uh, how did you get a nat 20 on that? You notice that this body appears to have been clawed to death. Um, looking at the closer incisions and everything, you recognize these claws as the claws that the zombies you usually fight have on them. It does actually look like there's a little bit of a... of of, like, red, oozy bits all around this guy's body. But they've dried at this point, and they've gotten clear in the sun, so they were really hard to see. Um, so this guy was mauled to death by those alchemical zombies that you count for. And he is completely drained of blood. Wait, like he's been straight up exsanguinated? Yes. And uh, from here, you see a bunch of tracks heading north. And, and, and in those tracks, you see that perfect footprint again. Okay. Heading back to the wagon. Okay. Hey, it's trouble up ahead. What kind of trouble? So, found a body that's been hidden off to the side. It's been completely drained of blood. And it's got those claw marks that those uh, created zombies have. Is it fresh? It, this is a pretty fresh kill. I would like to see the body, please. Also, a weird... This happened yesterday, but I found just a wink, weird, perfectly made single one footprint into the ground. Not boots, but like humanoid foot. Bizarre. Does what? your coworker wear shoes? Uh, I, I, uh, I've not looked at his feet recently. <laughs> There's no, nothing saying he can't wear shoes. He's his own person. But yeah, body's over here. And he leads you down the path to where the body's hidden underneath a, a bush. It looks like the it was actually kind of shoved under the bush, and if you hadn't been looking uh, around the area, you would have missed it. Oh, wow. You were kidding. That's a dead body. Yeah. Kath, does his body still have its head? It does still have its head. Kath, I would like to cast Speak with the Dead upon this body. Ooh, exciting. Okay, all right. So you are, you're casting a spell. You're casting the spell Speak with Dead upon this particular individual. Uh, it takes it a second, and you're, you're watching as the energy like kind of like flows around it. And then all of a sudden their eyes just pop open. Then they look over at you. Hi, what's your name? Uh, hold on, I'm pulling up your spell real quick to make sure I do this right. <laughs> I... Can we link it? I got it here, I got it here. Hold on. Okay. Uh... All right, so you asked them what their name was. They said, uh, my name is Billy Joe. Hell, all right, Billy cool. Joe. I make the, I, um, what, do you know what happened to you? Yes. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, um, where are you from? I'm from Coalfield. Ah, yes. Um, that's three. Kath, do we recognize this person? No. I can't say I know a Billy Joe. Okay. Um, is there trouble in Coalfield? We just left Coalfield. Shit, god there damn it. There was... I can never remember the names of these stupid drums. <laughs> oh, hold on. Just, just Donnie kicking a rock and shit. Don I, was, I was asking Red that question. That wasn't to the body, oh. by the way, Kath. It doesn't matter. He still heard it as a question. Damn it. <laughs> can you ask? Okay, hold on. Ask it. Real tempted to if, ask Donnie a question. If others were with him. That was a command. Not a question. And then I, I ask him if, if he was with anyone else when he died. Shit. Yes, three others. And you see his oh, eyes wow. kind of fade out and he passes out. Well, cool. That uh, is where these tracks lead further north. Do you want to hunt these things down? Yeah, well, let's go tell the gang. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> uh, gang. Let's go tell the gang. <laughs> it's okay. I won't, I won't say anything. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. All right. We've got trouble. Tracks leading further north. Looks like the dead body had three others with him. I don't see any other bodies around, so maybe they're taken. Are you hitting the shit? I plan to. This is a formal invitation. Who wants to join me? Elise, you're usually the one that tells us what to hit. Are we hitting them? Well, what do you guys want to do? I mean, we're nearing the end of the day. We got time. Perfect time to hit. Uh, you heard it. Elise said we got time to hit shit. Let's go. <laughs> you guys don't have to ask me every time you want to do something. Thanks, Mom. Say, <laughs> Mom gave us permission. Off. Isaac jumps off the wagon. <laughs> this is a group thing. Marco, do you want to hit things? Sure, I like hitting things, yeah. Okay, like, I, we don't, we, we act as a group. She's not our mom. It's Isaac. Like, they... puts, Isaac puts his hand on him. It, it's it's a joke, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, but why do you call it's... her mom? Because it annoys her. We're we're just we're just teasing her. That's all. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so the tracks confused. are over over here. <laughs> Abaddon, <laughs> do you want to go? I mean, sure. Why not? <laughs> Isaac turns back to Elise, gives him the thumbs up. And I think he's starting to get jokes. <laughs> he's working on it real hard. Oh. All right. So you guys follow the tracks that Red found. Um, they do kind of lead you into the forest a little bit. Uh, this particular area, remember, I did say that there was the forest to the right of you all next to that river. Um, so this part, it is it is densely packed with like wooded areas and things like that as you travel a little further in. Um, there's a lot of undergrowth and everything, and it's it's got a weird, foggy aesthetic to it. Now, question, just so that I know, where is the wagon? Isaac would have been bringing the wagon to, like, to the point he felt was the safest. Okay. Um, we're at that point where the horses are going to have to be left, or somebody's going to have to stay with them. Elise and Marco, I, either of them are willing to stay with the wagon if you want. Who would you prefer to leave with the wagon? Marco can actually drive it. Yeah, Marco, I'm sorry, buddy. I'll, I'll make sure you got some beers. He's got, like, puppy dog eyes. Okay. That's fine. Poor Marco. Yeah, I, I don't want to make Margaret. Red, can you tell the horses to like not run off? Is that a thing you can do? I can. Like, if I if I unrein the horses, could you tell them not to run off unless there's danger? All right. I'll, I don't I'll, want to leave Marco out. I can only do so much. Chestnut, pecan. So. So we're gonna leave for a little bit. Oh, you had to get our oats. There's... Tell him yes. <laughs> you don't, don't like hear it. You don't understand. 
I just assumed that they were asking for oats or something. Because they're horses. You're going to get those soon. I also put in some apples for you to get too. Sweet. I like, I like apples. Now, don't leave unless there's danger. If there's danger, come back to the 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 path that's easiest to walk on the road uh-huh go back there and wait for us uh-huh if there's danger otherwise don't go far from here okay so if i get spooked i just go to the road yes okay and never... wait for us okay i'm never seeing my wagon again <laughs> All right, Isaac, I told them that if they get spooked and have to run, they're going to go back to the road and wait for us. Does How does Red communicate with the animals? It's all grunts and grumbles oh, I have no and idea. body language. It's it's all very basic. Come on, Margo. I'm never going to see my wagon again. <laughs> you don't have to bring Marco. He can stay with the wagon. <laughs> Yeah, he's just swinging his axe around, knocking down leaves and like the limbs and shit. And see my wagon again. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right, so you guys, you guys are traveling further in, following these tracks, um, and then we're going to do a quick little switcheroo on the mappy boo. Ba-doo-ba. Can we grab one break real quick? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was yeah, gonna I map switch and then we'll break. break. So I'm I was just so gonna... sorry for spoiling it for you. It's cool. So we are we are map switching here so that you guys are stumbling upon an area and the you see one of those zombie things here and we're going to take a short break at this point and then when we We're come done. back we will c- get into the combat scenario. Oh, well, we got to kill this thing fast before my thing runs off. All right. Quick break. 5 minutes. We'll be right back everybody. Stand up, stretch, get some water.
<laughs> All right, welcome back everybody from break. Welcome, welcome. Here we are. Uh, we are in the middle of the forest. Let me scooch in so you guys can kind of see. Um, you do have two paths in front of you, one that heads to the north, one to the right, but the one to the right has uh, one of those undead zombie alchemy-made things off to the right there uh, that you have not seen before. Uh, or at least not in this particular we area. Seen this one. They haven't seen this particular one before, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Has it noticed us? It has not noticed you yet. You uh, you weren't like making a whole bunch of noise passing through the undergrowth and everything, so you are good to go. Okay. Um, what is the plan? You guys want to like sneak attack it? You gonna ignore it? You gonna just walk away? Leave the entire area? What's the plan? I would like to do a little bit of stealthing. Is everybody on board with the stealthing? Does Red announce his plan? Mm-hmm. What is stealthing? That's a skill check, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to give Red guidance. Okay. Um, hopefully, the stealth goes well in general. I would like to not stealth, but be ready for when the stealth goes poorly. <laughs> so, so basically, the stealth goes poorly. So I'm muted. I'm Don Grave, who's thing it? and everybody else is doing back. Hold on, hold on. Whose stealth is low? Everyone's. Everyone. No. I have no bonus to stealth. Uh, Not I everyone's. Will, I will whisper in Don Grave's ear if we need to stealth. Please you've got this man. Uh, Please, I'll give I don't you, like I'll that. I'll give you bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay. You feel inspired, Don Grave. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Look, uh, in the future, can you just say the words? Don't. Uh, We're trying to be stealthy. No, I know. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Stealth. I need everyone to roll I'm me leaving. stealth I'm, checks. I'm leaving for that. Nope, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> Before that shit gets too bad, 15. Nope. Uh, stealth checks for everybody. Let's go. What do I get a roll? Uh, you get a plus uh, d6 to your roll if you need it. I feel if like I'm going to need it. Yeah, if you need Nine. it. Okay, yeah. It helps a bit. All right. I was just gonna not stealth. You had to whisper in my ear all creepily. <laughs> so, Red, nope. you uh, nope. are sneaking in there first. You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing with the sneaky, sneaky of the sneak, sneak, sneak. Um, We're paused. I know. I'm. I'm okay. adjusting. I'm adjusting. Okay. I'm gonna put Isaac back here with Elise uh, and Marco, and then you two are here next to each other. There we go. That is the. That is the way that we will be doing it here. Picking order. Mm -hmm. That's the way the news goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, as, uh, as Red, as you start to walk towards it, um, you hear... You hear Dongrave make a noise behind you. <laughs> and in that amount of time, you hear... You see the zombie up here kind of, like, perk up a little bit and he begins to turn. So you have a sneak I blast attack. him. Yeah, you all have one quick sneak attack right now if you want to before he turns around. So I get one attack? Yes. Yeah, so red, you get one action. Everyone gets one action, and then we're going to roll for initiatives. So red first, then Abaddon, um, then Dongrave. That is based on your stealth rolls. I'm, I'm just going to okay. swing, swing. Swing, swing. Swing. So you're going to move forward, I'm assuming? Yeah. I would like to. Interesting. Like that? 15. Okay, 15 hits. Okay, so this one. And I must sincerely thank you for being undead. He's not wounded. It's, nope, he just got that one. Okay. But now he's wounded for the follow-up. Oh, hold on, I'm supposed to roll advantage. Yep, that hits. Oh. Get far down. So, still here. Bop, bop. <laughs> All right. So you did 11 damage, then 13 damage. Got it. Oh, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. We started combat. Oh, wow. A it was going to go a lot better than this. Red, Abaddon, and Dongrave decided to stealth. Uh, you and Elise hadn't gotten there yet, and Marco was pulling up the rear. And then uh, Don Grave made a noise that the zombie started to turn, so they got a quick sneak attack. All right, let's say, Donnie, aren't you like not sneaky too? 
I'm slightly more sneaky than you, I feel like. Okay. I know I do have But like barely. I know I have disadvantage on the sneak. If if I had to tell the truth though, it's because uh uh Abaddon whispered in my ear all these. See, now. the plan was I was going to go ahead. And then when I started to go in ahead, Abaddon whispered something to Dongrave, which made Dongrave uncomfortable, and it basically turned out, don't do that. No, it's fine, just don't don't, don't do that, neighbor. Yep. <laughs> and then that was going as I'm trying to just get a little closer. I'm like, oh these motherfuckers. <laughs> Basically, that's what happened. So nice, Red. You dealt your damage. Uh, it is uh-huh. Abaddon's turn. Abaddon, you have an action, just an action. What would you like mm-hmm. to do? Uh, any movement or no? That would be your action. Ah, uh, then nope. I guess I did uh, let Red move because he did scooch forward. Fine. You also get a movement. I just want to be not in the that's line fair. of sight of. The That's man, fair. so I will shoot a ray of frost at the man. A 20 hits. Yeah. 14 damage of cold. 14 damage! Uh, definitely. All right. Adding that to the list. All right. Don Grave, sir, what would you like to do? I would like to toll his dead. <gasps> He does have the dead to be told. All right. My wisdom check. Hang on. I don't think he's very good. I got a 13. He's not very good. Nope. Give me your damage. I have told his dead for 21 damages. 21 damages. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Good job. High five. All right. Uh, so that is the surprise round for everybody. Go ahead and now roll me your initiatives. My initiative. They changed the icon for the initiative. Tag. They did. I hate it. I hate it too. <laughs> Yeah! Gosh darn it. Why do all of my enemies go last? What is this? Because mm-hmm. he's lethargic. Isaac, what, Isaac, what's your dex? Isaac, what's your uh, dex? Not good. What's yours? Uh, 14. Uh, let me double check. Mine's also 14. I roll off. Do you three have the same dex? <laughs> I think yes. so. Possibly don't judge. Yes. Possibly don't judge. Because I also have a 14. Oh well, God. if you beat a three, bro, you go before me. What am I rolling? You just roll in a d20. Oh. Just, this is just who gets the better roll Straight here. Straight roll. Please don't roll a three. I'm going to laugh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, <laughs> I, Abaddon, you get to that go makes first. That sense. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing armor. He's not. He should be nimbly bimbly. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't put much in the deck. All right. So the zombie was able to, like, turn around, but that's about it. Abaddon, top back to the top of the order. What would you like to do? That's crazy, man. Cool. Uh, I will uh, I'll fire first level chromatic orb at him. All right. Roll that attack and don't hit red. It's going to be cold damage. He's going to hit red. Ooh. Almost dead. Perfect. A 16 does hit. Please give me your damage. Uh, 15. And you said this was cold damage, cold. yeah? Yeah, interesting, freeze, freeze. Interesting, interesting. Okay. What else would you like to do on your turn? Uh, move here. Okay. That's it. Isaac, your friends are currently in combat. Uh, you were pulling up the rear with Marco and Elise, and you just popped on over. You see it's in front of Red over there. What would you like to do? Ah, uh, shit. All right, Marco! Get your ass up there. Rah! Elise, stay behind me. We're going in. And he will... He's only going to go up about... That's not what I want. Mm-hmm. Bum, bum. That is the wrong he figures spot. about here. Okay. You, sir, do that. Thank you. <laughs> you started right. on the wrong square, you silly. I did, I did. He's going to be 
It basically goes, all right, Elise, we're going to hit here. Just wing spells at him. Marco, hit him. Okay. And that will in turn. Red, it is your turn. This could have gone so much better. Hey, you haven't had a turn in combat yet. That means I get advantage against my attacks against you still. <laughs> get him, DPS. He got to turn around. Did he take a turn? No. But he turn he took a turn, you know, he Oh, if he took a turn then that's No, no, he took <laughs> a turn. <laughs> he oh, turned yeah. around. Yeah, no, he took a turn around. Okay, well twenty one things are cast. Okay, yeah, that hits. Goodness, Kaz. I had a good time. Thank 16 you. points of damage. I can tell. <laughs> if you did a twirl and a swirl. If your DM is not around. giggling at her own jokes, you're not playing D&D right. <laughs> you must. You have to be amused. I'm your DM. <laughs> I choose not to be amused. <gasps> All right. That's a lie. I'm absolutely <laughs> you Just stay over there, Donnie. I ain't looking to die today. <laughs> All right, Red. I got your damage. damage. Yep, I got it. It's on my list. Ooh. Another 16. A 16 hits. Four, 14. 14. Very good. He is still up, unfortunately. Cool. Bonus action. Uh, 14. 14 hits. 14 hits. For 16 points of damage. 16 points of damage. Now, Red, you're all up in this zombie's grill right now, right? Uh, I'd imagine Fireball. so. Yeah. So That'd be really unfortunate. So you know exactly. You fought these a lot and everything. And as you're hitting this guy, he's he's a, he feels like he's a lot tougher to injure than previous variations of this particular thing. And as you and your companions are doing more damage, um you notice something strange. Normally, these things begin to ooze like the second you start to heavily injure them. This one is oozing, but the color is different. This one is oozing green. Uh oh. Okay. That's what you see. I, hey, this one's leaking green, not red. You mean like those plant wolf things? <gasps> Does it Plants? smell like those? <laughs> what did you say, Red? Did it? Does that uh. smell like the plant things? I, mean, I think you said they had a distinct smell the uh, plant things they do not smell like plant things no okay uh that's my turn then okay marco cannot reach it but he's gonna move closer <laughs> so get up there and hit him marco oh uh, well marco is like dwarf. one step short unfortunately uh so I don't think Marco can do anything else. Like, he can literally move next to it. He eats sword at it, just so I see he doesn't yell at him. <laughs> I feel like that would make you yell at him more. Hold on. Yeah, Marco's just kind of like, he's he's uh, he's uh he's staring at him. He's staring at him. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get you. And that's I'm going to get you if you're still alive next round. <laughs> All right, Don Grave, it is your turn. So does this one look like the previous ones we fought? Uh, it it looks stitched together like the previous ones you have fought. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll just told Stead again. Very good. Please. Got a seven. Please give me your damage. <laughs> That's a little damage. That's a little bit of damage. Very good. We hate to see it. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Mm, no. No. Okay. Uh, Elise is gonna scooch so she can see a little bit better. Um, and she is going to cast her spiritual weapon 
here. And it's going to attack Les Ombres. And she will hit. And she does good damage. Okay. So you see Elise kind of walk up a little bit. She goes, poof, spiritual weapon, and it summons it there and is attacking the Zombre next to it. Um, and that is, uh, that is her turn. So now it's the zombie's turn. Um, Red, hey, how you doing? This guy's going to attack you if that's cool. It's not, but, you know, he's okay. going to anyway. Yeah, he's going to. So you see him... Uh, reel back and he's doing his slam attacks you know the, the normal old slam attacks that you're definitely used to um the first one he gets a 19 that hits the second one he gets a nat one so let me think about this hang on interesting 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 uh, okay. Red. Yeah. You will be taking eight points will of I? bludgeoning damage. Uh, and as he goes to swing at you with his other hand, um, you see some of that, that, that greenish blood-ish stuff that's kind of leaking out of him? You get some of it on your arm. It doesn't hurt you, but it starts to burn really bad. Uh, and you, like, quickly, like, wipe it off of you. And where it had started to, like, where it touched your clothes, it had eaten a hole in it. Like acid. I just bought these. Why do you hate her clothes so much, Kat? I just <laughs> I bought these. I was about to say, bro. We're about to have an entire party of just barbarians walking around half dressed. Get magical clothes. I don't know what you want from me. Is that a thing? You can, yeah. yeah. Clothes are easily replaced. I don't know what you guys are so angry about. It's not like I'm breaking your weapons yet. All right, top of the order. Abaddon. Lockpick. Lock <laughs> nice, dude. Okay. Uh, he is leaking uh, a little bit out the sides, and uh, yes, yes. What would you like to do? Uh, I will. Do, 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 do. Uh. I'll do a second level chromatic orb. Yeah, she will do a chaos bolt. Okay. Does that hit? Yes. Fifteen. Uh, it is. Oh. We're not doing the fire damage? No, it's cold damage. Okay. So it's ten. And if there w is... Uh... If there's another creature within 30 feet of it, it jumps to that creature and hits it also. Their red is within 30 feet of him. I'm not hitting red. <laughs> so it just hits him. That's the first okay. time the Chaos Bolt would have worked, too, like that, but I just know they're oh. Yeah, it's savage. I know. I'm sorry, there's nothing else I was here. like, why, why didn't give me a prompt to, uh, you know, oh. choose a damage? And I'm like, oh, because it actually did the thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's fine. The it'll, one it'll time again. there's only one. Oh. It, it'll happen again sometime. <laughs> Probably, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, Abaddon, you deal your damage. It uh, it looks like it's it's kind of like doing the wibbly wobbly thing as if you should have killed it that turn, but he like shakes it off and stands up straight again. Well, that's cool. I'm hitting him with a firebolt. There's a quicken spell. A firebolt. Okay. Does that deal fire damage? It's a fire bolt. Okay. Just checking. Twelve. It's gonna hurt me. Might. I don't know. It looks green. My head is different. Instead of having a hole from one drop of acid, your whole clothes get disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> is that a it disappearing, you disappear too. It's a magic trick. Well. 
So, Red, I need you to give me a, a dex saving throw, please. Boy. Luckily, I'm kind of good at those. 25. Excellent. Now, Marco, I need you to give me a dex saving throw, please. Luckily, I'm kind of good at those. <laughs> All right, Red, I rolled low, so. You and Marco see this thing in front of you uh, as Abaddon's flames hit it, and it hits the exposed portions of the blood, and you see the chemical reaction activate. And you've been through this before, so you dive out the way as best you can as he explodes in glory. Uh, but I this just time- dive in slow-mo, just shoot a look at Abaddon like, Really, bro? We <laughs> know about this. I get and a look of it was green. As he <laughs> but this time as he explodes, instead of it being fire damage to you, it is acid explosion damage. That sounds oh. worse. So place. everything around this area is beginning to melt from the acid. Uh, Red, since you and Marco were able to kind of like tumble out the way, you're probably able to like quickly like wash it off a little bit with like the water skins or whatever so it doesn't completely destroy your clothes. I'm able to cast press hesitation on Marco really fast. Sure. You can try to get that acid off as fast as you can. Um, so you guys are able to do that. Uh, this creature is now dead, and uh, you still got the forest. What do you guys want to do? You are out of combat now. Boop. Oh. I would like to continue stealthing this way. Okay. Well, please stick with me. All right. Johnny Abaddon, help me keep a look on it. Marco, you take front. Oh, hold on before I go. Hold my hand up for a high five for Donnie. High five. Is that a guided high five? Of course. Awesome. <laughs> Is that a guidance high five? Okay. That's what I was hoping for. All right, so Red, you have guidance and you are stealthing. Uh, anybody who is currently stealthing, give me some stealth checks. Not stealthing, as I assume that I am taking 16. most of the, the squishier people with me. Yes, yes. You have Marco and Elise next to you. All right. Red, you are stealthing forward. How far away from your party are you stealthing? I want to get. I want based on I'm checking these sidelines here. Okay. To see if there are any uh, more of them around. Sure. So this area is pretty thick with foliage and things like that. Um, but you are checking around each of the corner in front of your own party before they get up up to you, right? Uh, you yeah. don't see any around here, but but as you are getting closer, um, you do hear a bunch of clatter over in this general direction. There's a loud grunting and roaring, and uh, it's like something. It's it's so obnoxious. Uh, it sounds like something you kind of has heard before, but you can't quite place it. The roars. Okay. It definitely how? sounds in distress, though. Okay, how tall is this right here? What, what, what are you pinging? This? This, yeah. This looks like a rock wall going up. Uh, it's pretty tall, about 20 feet up. Can I climb it? Give me an athletic check. You guys see Red beginning to scale some of the uh, roots that are kind of crawling up into the wall there, up to the top of a hill that was hard to see over. Red, you get to the top. You're able to kind of look over. Um, you see in the distance a bunch of stuff that looks like there's a barricade here and there's a, a, a like, bridge or something over a river here. What are here. these? What are what? Wait, what are you These poking things. at? I don't see your thing. Oh. Click and hold. That's ah, right. okay. Those are barriers. Are those? those are very, very tall barriers. Okay, I was wondering why I couldn't see over them. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hoping 
I want to get a look and see what the heck's making that noise. And this tree here is also blocking your viewpoint. Which tree? This tree here that I'm I'm focusing on. Okay. Ab I see Abaddon running around. I'm like I'm being careful. I check this sideline. Are there any zombies or anything? Nope, you don't see anything else here on this particular side of the river. Okay. Abaddon, you're walking around um and uh mm -hmm. like zombie selfies. You guys don't see anything over here. Um, but as you are getting further into, like, w once everybody gets to about here, if you're starting to travel inward, um, you will start to hear those grunts of somebody, somebody in distress. Not somebody, sorry, something in distress. If everybody's moving forward, Isaac will move the, start moving the party forward, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to get to here and wait for the people to come. Sorry if I missed it. Can I just walk to my right here and be up there? Where? Like there where you are now? Yeah, you can just yeah. walk over that. That's not it's nothing it's nothing. Just like a little hill up and up over. Down. This is the wall that, that Red climbed over, but you can keep keep going this way. Um, there's like a, a little path here through the bottom of the trees that you can kinda walk under. As you yeah. walk under the trees, you should be able to like, you know, pass straight through. Is What's Mark and Elise circle? just coming with me? Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. Okay. What's that? That. That is an oops. Ignore that. Okay. Ignore. <laughs> that's why I didn't say anything. I figured like, oh, that's something for the DM to remind herself of something later. No, that that's an oops. That was a. I was clicking around and I accidentally placed something. That's what that was. So I'll bring the party out to here. Sure. All right. I'm gonna get closer because I I want to know what that noise is. If I something that I might know about that looks uh that looks terrible. Yeah, I don't I still don't see what's making that noise. Donnie, does this look like one of your friends' things? The trees? No, the building. The trees. What what building? The yeah, right. there's there's a building over here. Uh, so as you guys get a little bit closer, you're able to see a bit better. Um, it looks like over that bridge there, there is like a makeshift uh, fort of some kind that's like up and elevated up this little incline here. Um, in front of the incline, there does appear to be something else. And then over the town itself, there appears to be this thick fog that's encompassing the entire section of the like watched area. And the noises, the very, very loud noises are coming from that area. I just want to make sure that I'm not messed up. There's like lots of weird walls here so that I can't see stuff and there's black lines. Yeah, there's the right. Okay, I'm just right. making wall. sure. Right here. Well, I can't see the wall, but there's something blocked inside here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm just making sure that that was the same. For yes. That is an incline upwards that you couldn't immediately see over. And this is just, what is this exactly there? Wait, what are you Above. cooking? This? Above. That's a tree. Yeah. The giant tree that's, that's dead. That's just a tree. Okay. Just a big old tree. Um, so as okay. you guys get a little closer to the bridge, um, at this point, red, um, you you guys can all see a little bit better of of the area kind of in front of you here, um, and but it's mostly just clouds from what you can see. But the noises are definitely coming from inside the cloud. I'm gonna if now I'm seeing everybody catch up. I'm going to press in. Wait. What? Kath, I cast Detect Magic. <gasps> you cast Detect Magic. Is it is it the spell or the ritualisticness? No, I'm not waiting 10 minutes. I'm casting <laughs> Okay. Inside the fog, you find uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 areas of magic. But the fog itself is not magical. Oh, I guess the fog itself would also be magical. Yeah, the fog is magical. It is a summoned magical fog. Can I be moved up to the group, please? Oh, yes, yes, I will get you. Thank you. I'm a dwarf. I got little legs. It's okay. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Good thing I got my magic detecting binoculars on today. Yes. So 
So what's um, the I'm going to pretend like Don Grave doesn't know about that stuff yet because it's not close enough for me to see it. Okay. <laughs> As you get closer, that's what you're going to get. Okay. It lasts for 10 minutes, so. Yeah, 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 you're good. What's All the right. plan here? What, are, what, what <clears throat> order are we moving in? I'm just going to approach. I, I want to know what that noise is. Um, Red, give me a survival check as you get on the bridge. Nine. Okay. Still can't danced? place it. Are you guy danced? I've already used the guidance. Okay. You still can't quite place it. Um, oh, I would have kept up with Red. I would have kept up with Red. <laughs> I think the party's probably moving together right now. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So about... Uh, we'll say here. So, Red, I'm going to scoot you back just a tick so that Don Grave can, like, be next to you. We're going to move the whole party up together. There we go. Uh, about this point, Don Grave, you get to the edge of the fog and you... One. Okay, I'll get you. So, at this point, you would have realized the fog is magical. Guys, there's something funky about that fog. What kind of magic is it, Cat? You would ask me that. I never won't. Hang on. <laughs> Funky monkey. Uh, it is conjuration. Someone seems to have conjured up some magical fog over there. What about... Hang on. Magical fog, you say. I don't think I quite see any of the people yet, though. No. I'm going to take one more step forward. Excellent. You as a collective group take one more step forward. All right, now. Oh, is it gone? Now, now you sense that there is a being inside the fog, yes. What kind of magic does the bean have? Also conjuration. There's also some summon stuff up in that fog. Be real careful. You like to spell magic? I don't feel like doing that today. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I can. I dispel the fog. Okay, the fog is a level one fog cloud, so you are easily able to dispel it. Let me just get that really quick. I wonder if they'll be able to see us now. <laughs> the fog goes away, and it's just a line of soldiers with arrows pointed at us. Six dragons. Six dragons. Damn. Oh, one for each. Oh! Oh, God. Oh. I see a bad guy. Oh, well. Put the fog back. Put the fog back. <laughs> no, this is good. This is good. Blow them up. Okay. Fire wheel, Abaddon. So, uh, at this point, what you guys see, there appears to be a bunch of golems holding down a troll. As they are holding down the troll, this guy appears to have been taking something from the troll, and you see him stand up as the fog clears, and he's corking a bottle with what appears to be the troll's blood in it. Is this the guy? This is the guy, right? This is, this is the guy. This is the guy. Sure. This is your guy. He's not my guy. <laughs> I'll wing my javelin at him. Hang on, hang on. We gotta, we gotta roll to see where we are right no, now. So. Surprise round. Even I'm surprised. Mm, okay, so, but that that's what you all see. You see this this weirdly, like, it kind of looks like a filleted troll. Like, they've definitely been doing a lot of damage to it. Uh, there's a lot of blood around it. And the guy has, has seems to have been, like, draining this little thing of its own blood. Uh, and so, everyone roll me initiatives. <laughs> I think I'm going to need you to actually roll really good this one time as I want to wing a javelin in before he runs away. Oh, boy. Zing. Everybody is coming to play today. Holy heck. <laughs> I have the same initiative as before. <laughs> that 20. Hey, also rolled a nat 20. Wait, where did I? Where I threw him away. Hang on. Get back in here. He's at the bottom. That was weird. Okay. I think I should have not if you rolled yet. Ah. Uh. 
He's impolite, apparently. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> impolite man, what do it you makes want? Me so happy. Hang on, I got, I got to fix everybody's things because they didn't update. Hang on. Don Grave got a twenty. It updated it for 20. me. It did it? Let me refresh. Them. Yeah, it updated for Hang me. On. Hey, for some reason I'm ahead of red. Get dunked on her. <laughs> I should actually be fine, red. Hurry up. Damn. Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, he's been... Oh, I guess I was still 18, so mine, mine is the same. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I just needed a refresh so I couldn't see it. Okay. Red, what is your... What is your dex, Red? 14? 14. 11. Uh, sorry, Red. Uh, Don Grid. Red's going above me. That's okay. That's what I want to happen. All right. <laughs> Locus. Um, so... Surprise round. Uh, not really. Every everybody is surprised at the same time. I also I need to add these guys in the mix. Hang on. Why? Ah. Do all of my enemies go last? Because <laughs> ah. <laughs> mm. uh, we came to play. And willing. Mm, the willing golem. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's a wistful rot troll here. Okay. Oh. So, oh, top of the order. Guy. Top of the order. Isaac! Just javelin yeet. Roll me an attack. Eighteen. For your javelin, yeah? Yep. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see your javelin is definitely on target to hit him and it hits uh, an invisible wall and is deflected he has some kind of mage armor on probably what's that do? It ups his AC. Oh, okay. All right, so your first javelin misses. Isaac? All right. Just got to give him the bird and turn. Oh, you don't want to move closer or anything? You gave him your owl? I'm sorry. Ignore me. <laughs> I, eat the, I eat the owl at him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No, that'll end my turn. Okay. Red, it's your turn, buddy. Cool. You got go a troll here. here. Yeah. I think he's but starting to get... There's greater prey on the horizon. Uh, Bonus action. Hunter's mark. Okay. Marked. Okay. <laughs> and... He didn't make an attack this turn. He hasn't even got Whoa. boomerangs. That misses. Okay. Comes back to my hand. Okay. Does that one miss? Unfortunately, no. That one hits. Was he <laughs> wounded at all in this little fight? No, he has not been wounded. <laughs> I got a belly. You just javelin through there. He's like, ha! Hit boomerang, ha, then gets whacked inside the head, like, ow. <laughs> Eight points of damage. He's wounded now. Eight points of damage. Yes, oh, he's, he's wounded, wounded now. All right. You're real that sad was your... if somebody set them on fire. <laughs> That's my entire turn. All righty. Dawngrave, what would you like to do? I would like to cast mm -hmm. with my casting ability. Sure. Summon Celestial. Who? Right, right behind him. In defender mode. In defender mode, Vince. All right. I need to summon your Celestial. Uh, did we decide what the Celestial was? Cool as fuck. That's what he was. <laughs> I, I I remember this conversation. It was in fact cool as fuck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure last time you guys tried to give him to you lost what you used before. Like the first time was like cool. An, an Anubis. And then the second time, you're like, this is all I can find. So. Well, do you remember what it was? Nope. 
Gosh darn it. <laughs> Somebody check the tapes. All right. Uh, give me just a second. How big is this creature? Um, he's as big as the world. He don't lie to large. me. Large. He's large. Okay. He's a large <laughs> celestial. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I am finding him. In the meantime, what would you like to do with him? He is going to slap my friend twice. Not my friend, my coworker. Right. Um. Oh gosh, I never punch things. Hit. <laughs> okay. Okay. So D twenty strength modifier plus strength modifier, right, for melee attacks. Mm-hmm. Right. Does that do it? Damn it! Good news, he gets another sword. Okay. Well, that does miss. I'm so sorry, but please go. God fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, That's okay. Hey. That's okay. I'm just getting out of the way for us. He's just there for flanking bonuses. Okay. And a little heal if you need it. <laughs> Abaddon set the shit on fire, please. Mm hmm. Hang on. <laughs> what is okay, so, like, where is the guy? Is the black, is the inky blackness valid s space to stand in? Uh, I, which inky blackness? Over here. Oh, oh, look at him! Look at his gold oh, sword. He's getting bigger. Like over it's here? No, 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 no. Behind him. Behind him? Ian, we'll put him here, yeah. Can he be off the map or no? No, mm. that's fine. He's fine there. He's good. Mm. That's, that's good for him. Okay. So he goes right. up to this guy and he attacks a few times, but he misses. The guy's very nimble today. Been doing Someone's been stuff. eating their readies. I'm going <laughs> to take a few steps forward. Okay. Take a few steps forward. Uh, Cuts to a scene of a villain doing exercise. I'm not getting hit again. <laughs> <laughs> Abaddon, what would you like to mm -hmm. do? We're having a hard time hitting the enemy. Uh huh. Noted. Okay. Cool. Um. Well, that's not what I want to do. Stop it. Okay, cool. I am going to cast uh, with a quicken spell. Mm hmm. So that level. So that is two. I guess it's two, isn't it? Yeah. What was that? I'm thinking, hold on. Uh huh. Fired up the old thinking machine. Okay, so yeah, two, he's still shook that Isaac has nineteen intelligence. <laughs> uh, so quicken spelling my thunder step to do it as a bonus action. Stop! Don't move me yet, and I'm going to place myself here. Okay. And then as my action. Um. I'm going to reach into my bag and touch the gold egg, and I'm going to use it. Okay. So I'm going to speak the command word and summon the spirit guardian. Excellent. Are you copycatting me right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. It looks like you're a little copycatting me. It's you fine. have a celestial spirit. I'm summoning just the spirit guardian right now, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, somebody mm -hmm. used Google and somebody used Bing. <laughs> I used Google, by the way. Yeah, well, I used Opera. <laughs> That's a browser. What? Exactly. It's better. Oh, my goodness. That's, what? <laughs> I don't know, dog. Okay, so you... Are okay. Hang on. Let me let me get it. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Uh, did I give you specs for that by chance? I didn't. Right. No, you literally just said that it summons a spirit guardian. Cool. Hold on. No, it's okay. I'm searching it up. 
Wait, why why F4. did you come in? Hang on, hang on. I you have a face. Why aren't you using the face I gave you? Mm. -hmm. Hang on. I want to be Faye. That'd be cool. Well, this is what you're getting. He's the wrong size. Hang on. That's neither of any of the things that it says. That's what I got available. Gosh darn it. It's mm, just the image. Fine. You want a fay? Fine. Hang on. If I get you do it, would be cool. Because I am... What is my alliance? The frick I see that again. Features... You no. Know, description. Yeah. I was not ready for you to use this. <laughs> Hang on. I had a feeling you weren't. Uh, okay. I don't know if I have a token for a fae, honestly. No fairies or anything? Do you have, do you have a fiend? Because I'm technically neutral evil, so it could look fiendish. I cast a spell good and evil on Abba. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Wowzers. And 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 what level of spell was this, Kath? Five. Fifth level. Okay. Um, so uh I mean this could work. Also, all my party members are unaffected by this. I'm choosing all my party members to be unaffected by it. Okay. We're gonna j imagine that this is a fake. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. Yep. All right. I mean, whatever works. I'm just. I feel it dragging. Yeah, that that works. This is a fake. We're imagining this is a fake. Okay. Nice. Just imagine yeah. that is a fake. Hell yeah. You got a little snake lady thing there, yeah. which is a fake. Okay. Okay. Um. So, uh, basically for the spell then, um, anybody in a fifteen foot radius, um, around, uh, me and around the target, uh, the the, the creature's speed is halved in the area, mm -hmm. and when any creature enters the air for the first time in a turn or starts a turn there. Uh, they it must make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. And then on a, on a failed save, it'll take the damage. On a successful take, it'll, it'll take half the damage. Yep. I've got it here. Mm -hmm. So he summons that, and you guys get another large critter here. Uh, that's that's it's the same size as Dawn Graves. Okay, I know Dawn Graves mm -hmm. looks smaller, but it's the same size. Mine's more elegant looking. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. You get your wingspan is much bigger. Um, so what would you like to do with this little thing? Me? Yeah. Uh it's your summon. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't attack, I don't think. It's just here. What? Hang on. I don't uh yeah. well it it protects me. Yeah. It it, it so it says An they flit around you. To, halved, uh, the creature yeah, takes they flit around damage. you to a distance of 15 feet for duration. Um, if you're good and neutral, their spectral form appears angelic or fey. I'm neutral evil, so it was any of them. Yeah, well, that's why he's evil, reptilian. If, if, yeah. <laughs> uh, when you cast a spell, you can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it. An affected creature speed is halved, yeah. And just when it enters the area, so it's kind of like a radius of like hurt around me. Right. And it. So it the dude is technically in his radius of hurt. Mm hmm Okay. All right. So so any any creature uh the first time on on a turn. Yep. Or if it starts its turn there, must be because it's in saving throw. So yep. anybody around uh da -da 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 -da. that and that. Okay. Awesome. So all those three right now, currently. Right. So on their turns, although, they will. Although I, although I could choose where to put him, so I, I honestly would have probably put him more like here, like in between me and the guy. There, there. Or uh, actually, no, here. So back one more. 
Yeah, so like right next to me. Bah, 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 that bah, way bah, I bah. can get one more in, in the range of it. Sure. So. Okay. So you, you summon the thing from the egg, and you see that the egg loses its shine around the outside, but you now have a guardian in front of you. Yep, and it's very spectral, so it can't be hit. Right. It's very, very grumpy about stuff and things. All right. Mm. Anything um, else you'd like that, to do? No, because that was my action and my bonus action. Right. Uh, and your movement. I actually didn't do my movement. I I you teleported did 90 teleport, feet. Yeah. Mm. So technically I can move still if I would like. Um, which I kinda would like that to here. I mean, no, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> Trying to move there. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh no, that's it. All right, Marco, buddy, it's your turn. Marco is... They're going to feel a lot of pain. <laughs> Marco, uh, like, he can't attack this turn, but he's going to come up here and then start yelling at this guy here. It is this guy's turn. So he starts his turn with in the radius. So let me make a wisdom saving throw. I got... An eight, so I fail. Dang it. If I knew he was going to roll so poorly on a save. Okay, I rolled a three on dice. Okay, listen. <laughs> All right, Abaddon, give me your damage. Oh, yeah. 3d6, 3d8, sorry, 3d8. No, it's more because it's fifth level. Right, right. It's 5d8. Right, right. Give me your 5d8 damage. Yeah, it'll be radiant. Ah, not bad. Not great. Ah, you guys again? Leave me alone. He's gonna like Absolutely not. step out oh, of that. Hold on. That this thing. little bastard's like, oh, you guys should just leave me alone when he actively taunts <laughs> us. Now get fucked. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Um, so if, if they pass the save, they take half that damage. If they didn't pass the save, they take full damage. Right. So he didn't pass, so he takes full damage. So he got hit once a roll. by a boomerang, twice by your guardian. He is technically next to this guardian here. Um, and he is going to cast a spell. And I know he you is. like to do the thing. He's going to uh -huh. attempt to cast a spell. Well, I will decide if I want to counterspell it after right. I know what the spell Hang is. Hang on. I'm... My book! Hang on. That's also why I got closer. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop it. Do, 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 mm -hmm. do, do. Okay. Um, you see him... Like, put the vial of whatever in the bag that he has at his side, and he is getting ready to cast a seventh level spell. Good God, I'm gonna try to counterspell that just third level. Okie dokie. You're, you're not gonna go, go, not gonna go all the way up? No, because it doesn't, it doesn't affect it. It has to be the same level to, to fully yeah, counter it. Counter spell at seventh anyways, level. Which I don't have seventh level Come stuff. On. Uh, so I rolled a d20 plus your charisma modifier. Yep. Which is d20 plus five. So I got to roll a 17. No, I got to. So no, I got to roll, roll 12 or higher. 12 or higher. Come on. All right. All right. Let's fill, please. Damn Fuck it. you. <laughs> so unfortunately, uh, this guy, he steps back and he casts teleportation on himself. Yeah, uh, and he leaves. Every he says, time, man. Stop. Every time. <laughs> and Fuck you. Dude, I, I will get him one of these days, but every time I've not been able to counterspell him. Every time. I've counterspelled every other enemy that has teleport besides this one. Literally. You have. Yeah. Frickin you did kill Anubis. him one time. Freaking Anubis who? What do you mean Anubis who? Yeah, All right. Freaking Anubis. So that he is out of combat. It is Elise's turn. She's going to step forward. And she is going to bless everybody. 
Uh, and that is going to be her turn. Boop. Okay. Abaddon, you're too far. Okay. okay. It's, it, I'm pretty sure it's 30 feet. Let me double check. Am I safe to go in here? Yeah. In a second. Anybody else other than the DM? Am I safe to go in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's Avedon stuff. He said all of us were good. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. No, no, you guys are good, yeah. Yeah, hang on. It's not your turn yet, Isaac. Oh, no, I'm just measuring. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hang on, buddy. Hang on. Okay, so at this point, Elise casts her bless, and now it is the troll's turn. Um, you guys kind of are were watching these zombies holding this troll down like they were clawing at it and keeping it onto the ground. At this point, you see him fling those zombies off of him, and he stands up with these waves of necrotic energy kind of like rolling off of his skin, and you can kind of see like bits of f like flesh being uh filleted off of him and he's trying to regenerate it but his body's just not allowing him to and his entire like energy and standing everything is just oozing uh and he seems to be extremely bad uh you've never seen a troll like this before it's like he's stuck in perpetual regeneration but he can't heal himself uh and it's his turn and he's going to turn to these things. Well, first off, he has to do a wisdom saving throw against your guardian. Because it is within the radius. And he rolls a 13. So I'm assuming he fails. Right, Abaddon? Sorry, say again. I roll a 13 against your radius thing. So I'm assuming the guy fails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give uh, me your damage. Yeah, uh, it is a failure. So it'd be five d eight. Nope, negative one more. Those are not plus five. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a bad better. Twenty four. Twenty four. Okay, in damage. Twenty four. Okay. Um, but he stands up, and he he sees the guardian. But the guardian isn't thing that was was hurting him for the longest time. Um, so he takes some swipes at these zombies in front of him because they were the ones causing him a lot of annoyance. So he's doing a bite and two claw attacks at those things. Hit. Hit. Bite. Okay. Uh, oof. Okay. So you see this guy just tear into these zombies in front of him. Uh, it seems that some of these have already been wounded. And so at this point, when he does his claw attack, he's doing a lot of damage. Uh, it's 4d10 plus 4 for the bite. Uh, you sound concerned about that. And then an additional 4d6 plus 4 of necrotic damage. She's concerned because I feel like that's directed towards me. If red, this is gonna hurt if you do what you're gonna do, buddy. <laughs> I know red. some of you. <laughs> I desperately want to do something, but I only have two revives with the diamond dust, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. This one dies and this one gets damaged. Um, but it looks like he was hurt a lot. He isn't able to regenerate. The not necessarily. It looks like his body is is in a in a perpetual state of regeneration. So it's like it's been filleted, but his body is trying to regenerate the whole time, and the massive amount of energy being like created from the regeneration is rolling off of him in waves that you can physically see. This is bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am going to put on here that all of these have been damaged. There we go. So those those four around him were damaged. He finishes off the one in front of him. Then it is the zombies' turns. Uh, you have the, those three in it for the wisdom. They all fail. I'll use the same damage as the last one, so they also take 24 damage. Which kills this one. 
points. He was very, very low. This one is still up. He is going to try to defend himself against the zombie, so he will attack, or sorry, the troll. So he'll attack back. He hits. Uh, he does damage the troll some. Uh, whoop, as, he, as he squishes it. This one here is also damaged, but he's outside your radius, so he is going to attack the troll as well. And he hits. And damages. And then, uh, and then this guy, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna attack this guy because he's close. And then this one's gonna attack Marco because he's close. Yeah. All right, Abaddon. How you yeah. doing? I'm going I'm to attack you, okay, buddy? Uh, no. Uh, okay. So, I have a 23 to hit. Hits. And then a 13. That misses. You take 17 points of bludgeoning damage as this thing slams into you. Okay. Marco. It misses Marco. All right. I uh, believe that was all of them. Top of the order. Isaac. What would you hey. like to do, sir? Well, looks like the main stuff's there. Uh, once again, the spellcaster is in the middle of the fighting. Yeah. Yeah, but it was for a good reason this time around. This this was necessary. Um. I'm gonna roll up here. And I will hold action that if anything comes over here, I'll smack it. Okie dokie. You are holding action. All right, Red, it is your turn. What would you like to do, sir? This guy's attacking Marco. This guy's attacking Abaddon. I'm so pissed. Uh Well, that's enough. <laughs> okay. I'm going to light my mace on fire with a second level searing smite. Okay. And I'm going to take a swing. Take a swing at the troll. A 21, 21 hits. Okay. So this is just the mace damage. So 17 mace damage. And then 7 fire damage. Okay. And I need, he needs to make a constitution saving throw. Um, I got a 24. Yeah, that's, uh... About 10 points more than what he needed. Yeah. So let's try and hit him again. 18. 18 hits. For 12 points of damage. Got it. What uh, else would you like to do? That's my entire turn. All righty. Next up, we've got Don Grave. Oh, hey, that's me. What would you like to do? Wish that my party members were further away from all the zombies, but <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Um, I will cast on the troll. On the troll, okay. On the troll. I will toll his dead. Troll the dead. Uh, the troll rolls poorly, and I got a thirteen. Please give me your damage. Eighteen points of damage. All right, he takes his eighteen points of damage. He's still standing, uh, still gross and skin filleted off looking, but yeah. I'm gonna take a couple steps in. Sounds good. That's probably good there. Perfect. And now it's my Celestial's turn. Yeah, what's your Celestial gonna do? 
Celestial's gonna get across from red from the troll. Okie dokie. Then he's gonna swing his mace. Hang on. Get. We know you're dead. Advantage. There we go. Right? God, fuck it. Um, that one misses. Yeah, yeah. It is at advantage, but that misses. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. That one hits. Yeah, that one hits. What are you um, doing with your dice, Dungry? Let's see. 1d10 plus 3 plus 0. Uh, 17 points of radiant damage. Oof, okay. Radiant damage, got it. And, um, is, is Red injured yet? Not enough to worry about. Is anyone... Is, is Abaddon's Medusa injured yet? Naga, whatever it is. Uh, Abaddon was wounded last turn. Oh, wait, so you are injured, Red. Yeah. I am technically injured. Dang it. Dang it. It's within All 10 right. feet. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I give uh, Abaddon's whatever the heck it is this many temporary hit points. Okay. Abaddon, keep track of that. You have that many temporary hit points. And then that's my turns. That's how many I have? That's your, no, your, your, your guide guardian. Does. Your guardian has Oh, my guardian has nine. He doesn't have any hit points. Well, he what? does now. Okay, well then I give it to the I give it to my celestial then. Okay. You give I mean, it to oh, your celestial. I do need to make a concentration check, by the way. It hasn't been your turn yet. He got it's slapped. Now I, I got smacked. Oh, that plus yeah. uh my charisma, I'm pretty sure. Where's my con? I don't remember. You asking me what your con is? No, hold on. Um He's trying to remember how to roll concentration. It's been a minute. Don't worry, I don't remember either. Uh, sorry, constitution so, saving throw. Yes, yeah, sorry, constitution saving throw. So I need to roll this. My bad. And you're blessed. Oh wait, you're not blessed. No, he was too far. Because you're too far away. Oh, how no, embarrassing fine. for it's you. Fine. Um, what are your stats? They're, they're crazy. For some of them. Uh, and yeah, no, that passed. Okay. I think because it was half a seventeen, so it would have been eight. Sure. I get to do ten because ten's higher. But anyway, so ten. You passed. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep it. What's your plan, my man? Me? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, I didn't know it was my turn. Um, I'm going to do things. Uh, okay. And those things are? You know, I'm going to try it again. See if it works. I'm doing a chaos bolt at this one. Sure. Chaos. Wop. Do you hate me? That, that misses. I'm sorry if you want to add that to your missed spells. Damn. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, no, no, I still have it. <laughs> still very I'm sorry, much a thing. Man. Well, yeah. then that's... Use my bonus action and try to push him away. Okay. Telekinetic shove. Yes. Well, he is resisting you. Save. So. Strength save. Strength <gasps> save. DC 17. I got a nat one. Oh. He moves five feet <laughs> away from me. <coughs> Cast out dying. You pro now? <coughs> She's upset about that nat one. You Cat, could tell. I'm the only one who's allowed to choke DM, on air and water. DM's okay? prone. Get him. <laughs> Sorry. I was laughing. <coughs> Hold on. Where are you? It sounds like you're dying. A little bit. Quit pulling an Abaddon. That's, uh, that's what I just said. I inhaled too much air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I'm on, I'm the only one who's allowed to do that, okay? All right, you telekinetically shove this guy away. <laughs> Although I didn't choke in my water this time, so I guess it ha it works out. Yeah, it is I, somebody true. had to, so I, I choked right, on yeah, air true. for you. So mm -hmm. It happens a lot. <laughs> 
All right. And then I will just, uh, I don't know. Does your yeah. does your guardian do anything? He just stands there all I, pretty. I, I can I can I can move my guardian. Right, that's why I'm asking. Do you want to do anything with your guardian, or you leave yeah, him there? I want to move. Does he move attack my or does he do anything? He doesn't attack. He he has like a radius effect. Move, all right, so I'm he's gonna here. scooch around this guy. Uh, he doesn't have any hit points. The but the zombie have would have. Form either. He would One have taken a swipe at him, but he doesn't like he, he can't hit him, mm -hmm. so it like swipes through his form. Oof. So mm -hmm. he can still uh, use a reaction to do that. That's fine. And then I yeah, will move. It did. Uh, oh good. <laughs> I'll move here. Cool. Actually, how far was that? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, no, I'll move there. Okay. It's my turn. It's Marco's it's like, turn. Really else. Marco's gonna attack at advantage. Well, not advantage, but blessed. Good job, Elise. Blessing Marco. He needed that. Okay. Does damage. Uh, it is still up, but it is now damaged. I will put the damage marker on it. There we go. Then it is uh, Elise's turn. Everybody's currently blessed. She's gonna move up here behind Marco just in case he needs a heal so she can quickly heal him if he is super damaged or whatnot. But she will summon her celestial weapon there to attack the thing. She hits. It is still up, but it is uh, looking damaged. All right. Now it is the troll's turn. And then and then the, the enemy thingy majiggles. All right, troll. Um, Red came up in his business and attacked him, right? Yeah, set his ass on fire, too. So did my celestial. Right. Slapped him right in the butt with his magical mace. Yeah. It was a butt touch. Don't know why you've done this. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> Unconsensual butt boop. He's. There's four people around him. Let me see who he's going to attack. Hang on. He's starting his turn in the. Uh... I know. So he's going to attack. The juice. The celestial. And then he's going Perfect. to attack red. Oh, no. Not um, so he's in the juice. Uh, wisdom, yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. He fails his wisdom. Please give me the damage. Feels cold. And we will use this for anybody else for next turn. 18. Uh, he is singed by the aura of you and your guardian again. Uh, and then first he will attack the celestial with a, sl uh, with a slam attack or a claw attack. Boop or no boop. Boop or no boop. Uh, he got an 18 on his claw. Does that hit? Mm, 18 AC. So, yes. I got a meter beat it. Okay. Yep. So, you will be taking 15 points of slashing damage plus 9 points of necrotic damage. To your celestial. All right, red. Mm -hmm. I'm attacking you. Sure. I got a twenty on die. Natural. That's a natural. Sorry, I have a dirty twenty. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was like, my confidence has fallen. That's the worry. Of damage. I won't let you get crit by the troll. I appreciate that. I will. <laughs> All right, Red. All I can stop it. Uh, oof. Okay. Red, you are taking 23 piercing damage from his claws. Okay. And 11 necrotic damage as you feel you your life you. energy I'm looking. getting yanked out of you. I think you might slightly just be out of my reach. 
what's the range on it? I think it's 30 and you're 35. I got to double check. I'm 30. I'm 33. It is 30. You are 30. And he looks like he's going to get booped. Okay. Uh, so that is the troll's turn. So now it is uh, the zombie's turn. So we'll start with this one on Marco. Hold on, Mito, did you redirect? Yeah, I redirected that 23 slashing damage to a, to the other zombie. The 23 slashing damage to this zombie here? Yeah, meow, zombie, meow. How many times can you do that? It wasn't a crit. No, it's not a crit thing. It's my, uh, it's my cloud rune. Boop, one reaction. Boop. And okay. so the attack goes to him. Okay. And then it is the Zombre's turn. So this one's going to attack Marco. He misses. Gosh darn it. This one's going to attack the Guardian because it's not terribly smart, right? You're not it smart. Hit. You're not it got smart. a hit. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's like, what hit me? He you. does. Well, you he also he also gets hit by the aura, so he's not having a good day there either. Uh, so he misses the guardian because he can't technically hit the guardian. Uh, this zombie is going to attack the troll. Okay, dice, you're in timeout now. I need you to roll something other than a four. Thank you. Uh, and then this one is going to attack the troll as well. It's going to hit. Troll is damaged again. That is the end of the zombies' turns. Isaac, top of the order, what would you like to do? Oh. I'm going to look over here real quick. How's Marco doing with his? He seems fine. He's damaging it, but, like, not a lot. But he's damaging it. But it's going to take him a while to whittle it down. All right. Well, Elise looks like she's in a good spot. So does Donnie. So I'm going to walk over here. Uh-huh. We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to rage. Okay. And then I'm going to start smacking. He is first on my list. Okie dokie. Roll an attack. In action. Boom. Yes, a 25 hits. Give me your damage. Boop. Excellent. 18 uh, damage to the face. He is oozing all over the place. I figure Marco, yeah. figure Marco will probably hit him the next time, so I'm going to smack this one. Okie dokie. He got wrecked just a second ago, so you know. <laughs> a 26 hits. Ten damage. Ten damage. Hold on. And that will end my turn. He is still up. He's uh, undead fortituded through that. Ended your turn. Red, your turn, buddy. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to shift. Okay. Get a little tougher. Sure. That's not... It switches it every time. So 6 plus 13, I get 19 temporary hit points. Okie dokie. And my armor class goes up to an 18. Sweet. And then I'm taking two swings at him. Do it. Uh, is this flanking? Yes. Dawngrave Celestial Even... is assisting you in the flank. Thank you, Donnie. Absolutely, that's what he's there for. Hashtag bless. 17. <laughs> yes, a 17 barely hits. With da with the blessings, uh you are able to smack it. 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. Whew. Let's try it again. Oh. Oof. He is not looking very happy, by the way. Good, me neither. Uh so okay, 6. Cool. Uh, six, uh, 15 points total. 15. Got it. Excellent. Um, 
Let's see, does the troll have anything? Yeah, he's still up. The troll still stands! Barely. He's like wobbling in his face, but you know, very angry about it. Anything else you got up your sleeve? No, that's all I got. Okay. Dongrave, sir, it is your turn. There are a lot of weak enemies left on the field. What would you like to do? Honestly, I'd like to just blow up literally everything, but I can't because everyone will die. We don't want that. <laughs> So instead of doing a big explosion, I suppose I will. Um, you could add your own so, circle to this. I, well, then I'll lose my cool celestial. I mean, that's fair. I would like to toll the troll's stool. Got it. Toll the dead! I got a 15. Not good enough. That negative wisdom, yo. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you guys see the troll grab their head for a moment, and like the flesh begins to peel off of his face as he like rakes down his own brain sickle, and he cool. collapses in front of you, Red. Oh, good. Don't forget to burn him. No, oh, that's the next move, buddy. Don't worry about it. All right, Don Grave, do you want to move or anything? Um, no. Nah, I'm staying here. Okay. Abaddon! Nope. Alex's yeah. Celestial. Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Alex's Celestial would like to move such that it is flanking this zombie here. Perfect. Now my Celestial will swing at him. Excellent. Swing. Swing. Wait, is it vanished? Add advantage, yes. God damn it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? I wonder if this guy to roll one loot every single time. I think at this point, the Celestial just blows up. No, it's fine. <laughs> the Celestial doesn't even want to be here. Okay, 20. I might have clicked three times. Ignore the last. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I can't ignore the last one. The last one's wow. a one. It negates everything. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. He uh, hits. 20, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him! I'm uh, trying. 18. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice, Sue. Nice, Sue. All right. Hang on, let me. Eighteen radiant damages. He is not able to undead fortitude through that, so this guy splits onto the floor. All right, and red gains two temporary hit points. I gain zero temporary hit points. Okay. Wait, what? I already have 19 temporary hit points. You can't gain more? They don't They don't stack. The only thing they can do is if I got more. Oh. Oh, that's fine. It was only two. I'm not upset about it. That's yeah. my turn. Now it's Abaddon's turn. Abaddon! Two enemies left. What would you like to do? Okay. Three enemies. I'm so sorry. I can't count. There's one there, there, and there. Mm-hmm. What would you like to do, sir? Um, ba -da -bum -bum. well, yes. <sighs> come, come. I'm just, I'm just gonna. Hmm. I'm going to cast ray of frost at the closest one to me. Okie dokie. Let's do that hit. Because they're the golems, yes. The zombie golems, yes. It does hit. Because they have very uh, low AC. <laughs> and call the uh, things of cold damage. Okay. Total damage. And I'm going to quick and spell. Uh, I can. No, I guess I, I did a cantrip already. Right. I'll quick and spell a chromatic orb at it as well. So no chaos bolts. We're gonna try a chaos bolt on them. Sure. No. Right. High or low? Ah, uh, low. Oh, I'm getting ready to get hurt. This might bounce too. Okay. 
Abaddon, give me your damage for a bounce. Well, let's see if it bounces. Yeah. It does not bounce. Okay. Give me your damage. I get a choice that doesn't bounce. <laughs> Uh, no fire on that, so it's 15. Okay. I am going to roll a dice to see who gets hit. Lovely. Clearly, I should just done my plans. We're getting hit I, anyway. I would Red. laugh if it bounced. God. <laughs> you feel a zappy zap as Abaddon attempts to hit this one next to him, but it, like, shoots off to the right a little bit, and uh, it hits you instead, like in the leg, like in the right leg in your calf area. Yeah. What's what's the energy, Abaddon? That's thunder damage. Thunder damage, yeah. So you you feel a little shock in your leg. This is really painful. It's like a, it's like a, a you know, it, the shake of, of the ground, but in your body, and it does not feel great. Yeah. Like when you hit your funny bone. And I need a WD-40 my mic arm. <laughs> WD-40 so your spellcasting arm, too. <laughs> Listen, bro. Are you done, Abaddon? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Marco... I'm not counting as a misspell because I still hit something. I think that... Sounds was... accurate. Yeah, sure. But I, I, I technically usually at this point uh, spell kind of miss, I think. So Marco count. attacks. Marco hits. Marco damages. Does it stay up? Undead fortitude? No. Marco killed this one. Good job, Marco. I'm proud of you. Uh, it is Elise's turn. She is going to move her thing. Oops, that's the wrong button. Uh, she's going to move her thing to this thing, and it's going to attack this undead thing. Her spiritual weapon. I know it's not a thing. She misses, but it's there. Uh, then it's their enemies' turns. This guy is going to turn towards you, Isaac, and take a couple swings at you. Okay. Wow. I got a 1 and a nat 20. I got a nat 1 and a nat 20. So... Do I need to cancel the crit? No. Because my 1 will automatically cancel the crit. It's fine. Uh... This one has been pretty wounded, so he goes to swing at you with his one arm, but because, like, everything's kind of, like, oozing through, the acid is actually cutting through the, like, pieces of, of string or, or thread or whatever it is holding it together, and the right arm just falls off. And he's just leaking green liquid out of his right arm now, so then he takes his left arm and swats at you, uh, and he does hit, and you do take... 15 points of s smashing damage, but I know you're, you're raging, so you take whatever you need for that. Uh, so it's the slam, b bludgeoning damage specifically. And then this guy is going to look at Abaddon, and Abaddon missed, so instead he's going to go... Well, no, I guess you're... Because he can't hit that, he tried. We're going to go to Abaddon. Abaddon, mm -hmm. buddy! Yeah. I missed. Never mind. Shit. Isaac, your turn. He just washed his arm, fall off, and he bonks, and he's like, ow. Yeah. My, my turn. Yeah. Yeah, 26 hits. <laughs> <laughs> my turn. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> He's still up. I just, you know. 27 hits. Bonk. He's still up. Action surge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said go down. Boop. Action surge. And it. I said bonk. Twenty. You get going up each time. Yes, twenty nine hit. Or twenty eight <laughs> hits. Yeah. Eleven. Your damage is also going up one each time. <laughs> nope. Isaac, quit playing with your food. Up. He's still up. 
20 hits. My guy. <laughs> he's still up. He's undead just, fortituding through these. He's up. He's just bonking the shit out of him. Just the, You were bonking you know him, yeah, and yeah. he is ignoring he did, yeah. it. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Isaac isn't slashing him. Isaac's turned his axe sideways because he hit him. Uh -huh. He's just like, oh, you want to play that? Just bap, 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 bap. And you just see him go, ah, ah. And he's still there, and he's still alive, and he's just like, Ugh. I think he's just bapping him with the side of his axe the entire, like, don't hit me, you stupid zombie. <laughs> still well, up, though. Turn. All right. Red, it's your turn. Isaac's having some trouble behind you. <laughs> Isaac's just ping-ponging the shit out of the zombie right now. Also, Abaddon's right. alone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Oh, did I get hit, by the way, Kath, or no? No, he missed. Okay. I'm going to take my mace, light it on fire, and hit the troll again with fire. Okay. You smack him. You can't, like, move or anything, so. No, but I can start burning him so he can't come back. Sure. So that's what I'm doing. And I see, so that's one attack, and I just, like, see Isaac playing with his food. Second attack, I'm just going to turn a wing a boomerang at the one he's <laughs> just okay roll an attack 21 hits see the thing is how much damage can you do well he's an undead right and he is wounded so 13 let me see if i can undead fortitude through this hang on you don't have to like he's you okay. can just say he dies he gets hit, he but he's still up. Cash. <laughs> it's not my fault that I'm rolling high. <laughs> no, it is. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's 14 points of damage. No, I'm sorry. I got an 18. So. Okay, well. <laughs> this, is, this one zombie is just getting bullied right now. Can we just, like, capture him and take, bring him with or something at this point? Jesus. <laughs> Anything else you want to do, Red? Donnie's no, over here. can do. Right. Ronnie's over here starting up a zombies zombies rights thing. He's right, like, Don this is Graves. cruelty. It is your turn, Don Grave. Alright. Um, my Celestial's gonna fly over across from Abaddon. Okay. To be flanking the zombie. Okay. And it's gonna whack the guy twice, or at least attempt to. Yes, good. That hits? Uh, plus 12. 12. Okay. Uh, the zombie takes the damage. He is still up. It's radiant, case it's relevant. Um, all right. And then, uh, uh, Abaddon gains three temporary hit points if it's relevant. And okay. we see you again. Nice. Oh! <laughs> nice, Sue. Give me that damage. Die. He not gonna die. Oh no! <laughs> right, so D two plus wow. three, five, ten. Ten total radiant damage. Right? How many nat ones has that been, bro? So many. I'm never using this guy again. Hey, I'm yo. selling the box. I'm unlearning the spell. That's okay. I rolled a nat one. gold pieces. I was like, guys, hell yeah! Look, at least I can kill shit. I guess. <laughs> it's been five. That's been five. Yeah, I know. Plus mine. Has made it six. That's insane, bro. As many times as one zombie's been hit, I'm I'm wondering if zombies cry because I've been crying at this too, point. So. I did. I did just roll a one. She's rolled at least a couple. So I'd say we're probably a total of ten I, natural ones today. Have I had to yeah. roll for this guy yet, Catherine? A bit, or are you just doing damage if he fails it? I'm just doing damage if he fails it. Okay. All right. It is your turn, Abaddon. If Don Grave's done, are you done, Don Grave? Um, I choose to say the last zombie's dead, so we can be done for the night. Woo! I did it. Good job, guys. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just look at the, the zombie. Yeah. Um, and be like, man, this fight really should be over. You should be dead right now, and I'm gonna cast vicious mockery on him. Okay. So just make a wisdom saving throw. Ah. Uh, you got a nineteen. Why? I don't know. Why is it always when you use the vision? Please. <laughs> I'm 
trying to go pick up groceries. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna use my action to get a third level spell back. Okay. With Marco's my gonna. Power. Okay. Marco, I need you to save us, buddy. Let's just smack him, bro. Marco's, <laughs> Dude, Marco's just here. like. Marco hits. Marco's just like. Marco does damage. Marco, come on. Don't roll high, you stupid. Okay, I got a three on die. It dies. <laughs> <laughs> Marco just walks over. He's like, I I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Just stab. Okay. So you all have finished the battle. Everything is dead. Red is burning the troll thingy in front of him. Uh, and that is where we will call it for today. You have any last words before we say anything? Isaac's still booping the zombie for hitting him. Finally. <laughs> Uh, thank you everybody so much for hanging out tonight uh, we will pause it here we will be back next Monday and we will continue the story then have a good night everybody bye bye bye, bye. bye.